Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I see y'all was waiting, y'all. I seen y'all two people was waiting on me. I was trying to get my thumbnail together, y'all. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I had to eat because y'all know y'all be having me starving on these lives. Y'all be starving about y'all go. Y'all be telling me to go eat and come back. <laughs> so I went on here to eat first. And now I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Y'all coming in, coming in. I'm going to go ahead and share this in the group real quick. If y'all know my group is called Brown Girls Cry for Cricket. Go ahead and share this real quick. What y'all working on tonight and where y'all from? Where y'all at? Hey, hey, hey. New or hey, LaShawn from New Orleans. Hey, J.S. Brett from Tennessee. Hey, Devana. Yes, we're doing tumblers, y'all. We're doing tumblers. In the Cricket Easy, I mean, in the Cricket Mug Press. Are y'all ready for me to jack these tumblers up? Or are we going to get it together? Are we going to do it right? Or are we going to jack it up? We're going to see. This is my first time using it. I haven't got it hooked up to my computer yet. So we're going to see how it's going to go. I'm sharing into my um, group real quick first. Ooh, my, my forehead shiny. Who lord? My forehead shiny. Who lord? My forehead shiny. Who lord? Mute. Okay, let's see. Hey, D from. Hey, Chanel from Nebraska. I'm just sharing this to the group real quick. Just one second, y'all. I'm waiting for people to come on in. Oh, we got 102 people. While I'm waiting, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go on top of your page and thumbs up this video. Like this video. We got 106 people. Y'all was waiting on me, huh? Get y'all wine while y'all wait. Get y'all wine. I'm sipping on wine tonight again from my favorite cup. Some my, One of my viewers, one of my followers um, sent this to me as a gift. It's, it says, maker of pretty things. Uh, I make pretty things. So get y'all wine so we can sip on wine tonight like we did last time. Who been here with the last couple of nights I've been on live? Let me hear, see the hearts if you've been here. Get y'all wine. We can sip together. Y'all know I look. I get a little goofy when I drink wine. Okay, thanks for coming back again, Erica and Diana. Y'all been rocking with me for the last couple days. I don't know. I've just been liking to get on live and just talk. And la last night we did a um, tumbler in the oven. Today we're going to be doing a tumbler in the um, mug press, the, the cricket mug press. So check that out, the video from last night. We was up at like 1 o'clock. I did a tumbler in the oven. It's not working. So check that out, y'all. And I, before then, I did patches. Live, I did patches doing, going live. Then the lap before then, I did an applique live. So check my lives out, y'all. I answered a lot of questions. You know, so we had fun. Hey, Lanice, you was here with me too. Hey, L L London, y'all was rocking with me all those days. I was doing these lives. I just smiled like my fifth or sixth live within the last two weeks, probably one week. Okay, I'm about to share it real quick to the group. Let's share. Copy. And paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. What y'all, um, what y'all doing tonight? Y'all got anything y'all working on?
Okay, I'm saying go. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Hold on, y'all. Putting it in the group, y'all. Hold on. Why I'm wait? Why you waiting on me? Go ahead and thumbs up this video. Like this video. Don't look up. Don't pitch it to my shiny forehead. my edges if I came on live y'all want me to see me no dry Ooh. okay let's see oh sorry to hear that I'm at work looking at you oh don't get fired girl you know I'm kind of loud you know I get loud when I'm on the live this y'all wine I'm trying to crunch on this ice y'all I'm sorry I love ice okay um what y'all what y'all sipping on? Wine, juice, water, let me know. Cause I, need, I won't be sipping myself. So let me know what y'all sipping on. Yeah, Diane. She got her, she got her machine at the shop. Which one, the embroidery machine? I just haven't eaten, y'all, because y'all know what? I gotta come on here to fool because y'all be starving me. Y'all be telling me, go go get your food and come back. I was like, no. <laughs> so I ate my food. I have me some um, grilled salmon, some asparagus, some mashed potatoes. And, ooh, it was so good. So I got my little wine to flush it down with. Okay, with your tea and your water, cool. As long as I'm not sitting by myself. Okay, you got your six needle. Well, I can't wait to get my six needle because they closed. The shop was closed today. If they weren't closed today, I would have been calling them. Like, where my, my machine at? It's supposed to be here. It's been a whole month. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I ain't want to crunch in y'all ears. Got some ice. Okay, with y'all water. Okay, sunrise smoothie. That sounds good. Okay, well, I got my wine. I'm drinking, um, what is it? Sangria. And it's so, I love sweet wine. She, okay, so let's get on to this video. I got 155 people. Come on, where my likes at? I got 30, I got 62 thumbs up and I got 155 people here. I'll wait. We about to do some, we about to do some sublimation on this cricket maker. Cricket, ugh. Big, I'll wait. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, let me get my stuff together. Well, I'm, I'm prepared today, y'all. We gonna sublimate. Which, which one y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna do this picture? Today, this is number one. So if you want to do number one, put number one. But of course it's gonna be dull because it's always dull when um when you have some of the mission paper. This is picture one. This is picture two. And I need a moderator. Who wanna be my moderator? So this is two. Which one y'all wanna sub today? I'm not gonna do both of them. I was gonna do a cup, but I'm not gonna do a cup. A cup would be easy, simple, easy. This is gonna be different. Okay, let's get some sangria going on. Open it up and drink with me then. Oh my gosh, y'all say one, two, say one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh man, I guess I'm about to just pick it because y'all going back and forth like one, two, one. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a lot of, mm. uh, can I get a moderator to help me? Because last night and the night before we had some, okay, thank you, Joanna. Let me go ahead and put you as a moderator. I don't know if I can do it over here. Oh, yes, I can. Cool. Make an added moderator. Okay, so please get all the bad seeds out when they come in because last night we had be having some freaks come out at night and they be trying to mess up our lives. So go ahead and get them out of here when you see them. Delete them. Anybody talking crazy? Let them go. Delete them. Okay, so I got a moderator. Thank you. Let's see. Somebody said one, 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 one. <laughs> Y'all getting on my nerves. Where? No, we're not going to be here all night, Dolores. Look, don't we start with me. <laughs> Man, y'all already know. Y'all be trying to get me up here all night. Last night I was here at 1 to 1 o'clock, okay? Y'all can't be having me here all night. I got things to do. I got work to do. I... Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead and do number. Y'all know. Y'all be doing too much. So I'm going to go ahead and do. Which one? I don't even remember number one. <laughs> I don't remember what number this was. I think it was one. I'm going to do number one. Sorry. Yeah, they be tripping when we, and they, come, they, they can come out at night. So 
we're gonna do this one okay but um before we do that y'all already know i got so much other stuff going on in my life and i always like to show y'all stuff so we don't never get right straight to the point because that's why we all that's why we always be here on live disclaimer i talk fast so if y'all don't know me y'all y'all know me now i'll talk fast any new people out here if you're new people let me see your heart if you've never been here before say first time if you're new to my channel or this first time have going on live say um first time First time, hey Maria, hey Sophia, oh welcome, 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 oh my goodness, I love all the first timers, hey Natasha, thank you for joining us, Rashonda Q is Q, first time, thank you, Jabrat is first time, oh my god, welcome, everybody tell them welcome if y'all be here, y'all know how we do, we have fun on these lives, so if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel, we almost had 100,000 subscribers, so when we get to 100,000 subscribers, we will be giving, doing a giveaway, and I also will be showing y'all how I did these bags. I did this beautiful bag. So when I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to show you how to, I did this. Okay? And you can get way more colors than this. This is just a, a basic bag. I got more over there, but they're not open. Um, They're not open. So you can get a whole lot of colors. You can put whatever you want. You put your own face on here if you want to. Okay? So I'm going to show y'all how to do this when I get to 100,000 subscribers. We're almost there, y'all. So go ahead and subscribe to this page. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos like these. I just come up and do it. I just pop up and like, hey, I'm here. Me and my shiny forehead. So welcome to all my little, well, welcome to all of my newbies, my little first timers. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why I said little. Hey, Barbara, her first time. Welcome. Thanks for welcoming with Marquita. Thank you. Oh, your first time going live? Okay, Katrina, welcome. Okay, now let me go ahead. Thank you for welcoming, Joanna. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Anissa. Thank you, Mildred. Oh, Mildred, first time. Welcome, Mildred. Welcome, Audrey. Welcome. Okay, I love first timers. We get, we have fun on my channel. Okay, so let me show y'all first what I got going on. What I got today. You know, every time I come home, I have boxes of stuff in front of my door from um, Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up what I have from Amazon. We're gonna go ahead and straight go to the term to the tumbler. Okay. Uh so here's the box. Uh you know what? This was even from Amazon, y'all. This is from All Stitch. Anybody know about All Stitch? Well, for my embroiderers, y'all know I've been doing a lot of embroidery stuff lately. If y'all new to my channel, y'all know I do sublimation, I do cricket, I do a uh, cinch, I, I got a button maker, I have <laughs> ta-da! I have a, a Maker, Explore 2, and a Cameo. Two um, F, um, printers that I converted to sublimation printer. Also have my big boy over here. That's a sublimation printer right there. I have a, yeah, I have a whole warehouse full of stuff. Warehouse full of stuff. But then right there is my baby, right, my big boy. That um, prints out 22 inches wide sublimation. My two printers, my two heat presses. It's kind of junky over there. All this stuff over there, I've been doing FDK, so I've been working, working, y'all. And my three babies, my all of these are um, uh, what are what are they? Look, <laughs> what are they? I can't even think. You know what they are? Embroidery machines, okay. And I got my sewing machine over here, and I wait for my big boy to come soon. The six needle should have been here, and I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting on my machine. Oh, there's my conviction oven right there. My wine cooler, and we did a um today that conviction oven. So. We got a lot of stuff going on in this room. This is my basement, my she shed. This is where I be at all the time. And I love my space. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So y'all got a little little tour of my day, my, my place. So you will see a bigger I did a real a, a tour last night. So check out my other live. It is up and running. So you can check that out. Welcome, Mildred. Your first time. I think I already said that. Let me go push the arrow down. Do I have help? No. I do it all by myself. People are like, do you sleep? No, I don't sleep. I don't have no help. I run my Etsy page by myself. I craft, make everything by myself. I also run a daycare. I have a daycare center, five-star daycare center, which is that means we are doing great things in my center. Um, and I also have a 10-year-old son. So, yes, I do it all myself. Like I, said, I just had, I was in the um, mall and I had a, a, a um, I had a um, kiosk in the mall 
And y'all should have seen me, y'all. I was burning myself out, so I had to stop. Because I was planning on only doing it anyway. I started um, the kiosk. You know, the little kiosk is in the middle of y'all mall. I was one of them girls, okay? I started Black Friday. And I went all the way into um, uh, Valentine's Day. I had so much fun. But every night, I was back home making, burnt, you know, separate mugs. Because my mugs and my tumblers was my sellouts. I sold, I sold them out every weekend. I was only there for the weekend, which is good for me. I was there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. From um, when they opened, when the mall opened, I was there. When the mall closed, I was there. So I'm glad they cut the hours in the mall because of the um, COVID. So we was only there from well, seven. What was it? Ten, ten and seven. My daughter, she did first shift. I did second shift. So she helped me out. My daughter helped me out. It's, work for, it's working for me. But I did. I do all the crafting. Okay, I did all the crafting. So my daughter did. She basically what she did at the store. She did personalize. That's how I'm not doing it. That's too much work for me. She was good with little cricket easy press with the cricket. Um, what's that called? Where's my thing at anyway? She got it? Oh, here it is. I got everything cricket. I had this at the mall with me. That's the same, it's the same color, it's a little thing. Um, I got this is really good when you go on like little um when you go into a mall or something and you're working on stuff. She took this with I took this with me and she basically personalized all the people um um mugs for them. So the mugs are already already done. So if they wanted a mug, she they would put their name on the back of it with this um cricket cricket. The heck is this called? I tell you what it's called. I told you I got so much stuff I can't remember the names of these things. Joy, Cricket Joy. Yeah, Joy. So she put the names on them. So I took this with me. It's so compact and so you know light, and you was able to cook it, kick it up to one of the um stores Wi-Fi, and we was able to um she was able to do that for the customers. I said I'm not doing it. So they was like they she they she did it. I could, I wasn't, it was too much, I had too much going on. And this is, this is compatible, I mean, com I can't even talk, y'all. This is really lightweight, and, um, you can take this, I can take this to the mall when I go to, um, do my, uh, when I, um, start back on Black Friday. It'd be cool because I can just plug it in, and I can personalize people mugs right then and there. Oh, not really, because I can't print it. I can't print them out there. But what I can do, I can, I can print out a lot of different images before I go to the mall, and then I can do it that way. Or, I can use heat transfer, take this with me add this with me you have the htv and put the htv and use this so these are cricket do know what they're doing they, they make it small so you better carry it around you can't carry no big old heat press around or no big old mud press around when you go into different events so you make your money on the go take your little stuff with you they even got bags for this girl i got a bag for this i don't know about the bag for this they probably have a bag for this too but i got a bag for this i rock you know i can take it with me with my little bag but cricket's a mess no i'm not getting sponsored by them but they every time they bring, come out with new stuff they make look more stuff like they're making, they, I just found out they made, um, they're making more vinyl for this. So now they got vinyl for this, they got vinyl for this, and they got vinyl for these. Like why? Just We could just cut the vinyl that we have. Just trying to make that money. Trying to make that money, honey. Doing too much. Like, come on now. And then we buy it. Like don't go buying that little old vinyl. Cut y'all regular vinyl. Stop spending all your money with Cricut. Yes, my group is called Brown Girls Crash Cricut because Cricut, Cricut is my first machine I had. I love it, but I'm not getting sponsored by them. I don't get paid for it by them. I just love their stuff. And I'm going to keep it real. They be, buy, they be starting all these new things coming up, and they want you to buy all the little stuff to go with it. Like, come on. They done, they changed everything for each thing they make. Like, come on now. Y'all just want that money, and they making it too. Now, I ain't mad at them, but we ain't got to buy all that stuff. Like I said, when y'all get that cricket maker, even though I did, y'all, I got the joy, and I, <laughs> and I, bought, I did buy the little, little things because they were, they were able to... Um, See, I'm gonna tell y'all not to buy it. I'm sure y'all what I bought. I had, my daughter told my, my my daughter made me. She's like, "Mom, it's so much easier." But I don't like these. I don't like these things. I don't like them because it's too hard to weed these things. Like they they don't fit. They don't they don't um go on the contact paper that I use. And y'all know I use the contact paper from um the Dollar Tree. So of course Cricut made it back. Uh, made it hard for you to use the Cricut paper. I mean the, the stuff from Dollar Tree. So they made their own paper to use for this. Okay, they got paper for to use for this. It's called transfer paper to use for this. And they got transfer paper to use for the regular regular machines. Like, come on now. Every time something come out, they make a whole other brand for everything, okay? I don't like these. My daughter asked me to buy them because it, the rolls are smaller and they're very compact. It's easy to travel with them or whatever and easy to storage at the um at the um kiosk. But if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have bought it. So she was doing all the doggone stuff. So I said, go here, I'll buy them. I'll buy them. They're not that expensive, but still, we can cut the regular, you can cut the regular vinyl and just use the mat. That's why she wanted me to use it. She's like, I don't like using the mat, mom. I just wanted to go ahead and put it inside like that. I'm like, girl, bye. So I said, okay, since you're doing all the personalization, I'm going to go ahead and bought these. So she had to use the doggone mat because she's a spoiled little brat. But yeah, I got a couple of these. And then she ended up doing the iron. I had to get the iron on, HTV. 
um because that's all permanent that was all permanent okay so they got the iron on too the htv so i got these because at the end for valentine's day we was personalizing the t-shirts on the little teddy teddy bears for valentine's day so i had to go buy these and she brought the little mini heat press there the little mini heat press cricket easy the cricket mini press to the mall or did I use the little arm? No, we had to use the little... Girl, I got everything. Cricket got everything. We had the little um arm. So she was able to... I bought a lot of teddy bears and stuff from Walmart. And um and then I got the t-shirts from off of Amazon. And they were... You can sublimate them on them too, but I didn't sublimate them. I just basically she used HTV and she put, I love you. And then she put the people's name. Whatever the people wanted on it, she put on there. And then she just put HTV... Cut the HTV off with the um with the joy. And she heated up the, with the arm. We did all that in the mall. We did it all that in the mall, okay? So we had fun. Yeah, 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 yes. Hey, best you in the crew. Yes, hit that like button. Hit that button. <laughs> um, I appreciate y'all for watching. So yeah, like I said, don't buy that stuff from Cricket. Cricket a mess. But they be they know what to do. They know how to bring us in. Cause I said I brought it, but my daughter made me make me spend my money. Get y'all wine, get y'all drinks, and sit with me. If y'all not drinking wine, that's fine. I drink by myself. But we're the girl, ladies out there drinking the wine with me. Okay. What you have talking about? Um, I got 300 people on here. Hey, almost 300. I got 256. Can y'all go ahead and um put, hit that thumbs up? Only got 154 likes. I'll wait. Best unit crew said what I'm sipping on. I'm just drinking some wine, some sangria, sweet wine. So relax and do this live. I like my wine. We was on here last night till 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let me go ahead and show y'all what's in this. Um, I already said everybody that started out, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing a tumbler in the... um. Cricket mug press. I'm gonna tell y'all my, my pros and cons about it. I never used it before. I don't get paid with Cricket. I'm just here doing it because I, I bought it and I shouldn't have bought it because I don't need it. But I bought it for y'all so I can show y'all so I can so I can show y'all how I use it. I'm gonna, that's that's what I'm gonna stick to. <laughs> I buy all this stuff for y'all because I don't need it. I got a convection oven I do use. I have a um convection works fine. My oven I use for my I use a convection oven for my tumblers and I also use a um. Uh, um air fryer for my mugs work fine but i got this because my my air fryer my my um my what, i always get that thing wrong my air fryer was going out so i was having issues with it so i went on here to start using the convection of my mug my mugs and it was fine but I said, let me go ahead and get this just so i can show it so i can just get it because i i'm always extra buying all stuff and i'm gonna add more stuff to my crowded craft room of course okay i got a bag right here um, who embroiders? I have some stuff that is called, it's from the store called All Stitch. <laughs> Your husband talking about me. Yes, that's a, I got a disclaimer. I do talk fast, so bear with me. It's a habit. Believe me, if I could change, I would change it, but I can't. I've been talking fast all my life. But when I hear myself talk fast, like I gotta say, slow down, Charmaine. Slow down, Charmaine. Okay. So All Stitch is a basically a place you can get your embroidery stuff from. This is my first time shopping. She said Jen Mill, Jamil said she Jamila said she um shopped before. This is my first time getting something from them. So I got a little bit of something so I won't get too much stuff because I don't know if I like them or not. But I was excited. They got like a lot of teddy bears on there. You can you can embroider. They got nice thread. I like Madrid. What is it called? Madrid. I'll tell y'all in one minute. But I like their thread and stuff. Well, I never had it before, but they got this thread that I like on they on they shop. So isn't this teddy bear cute? It's a rainbow bear. And you basically can, uh, hold on, let me open it. You can sublimate on these. You keep the belly white so it can be able to, not sublimate, I'm sorry. But you can, um, embroider on these. Look at that. Isn't that cute? How the heck do you get this? I thought it was able to, you be able to open it up. How you embroider on these things? They're so thick. How do you do that? I figure it out. I thought that was gonna be. Uh, I thought you was gonna be able to open it. You could. Oh, oh, you can. I guess you gotta take out. Okay, here it is. You gotta take out the stuffing. Okay, take out the stuffing, and then you lay it on your on your embroidery machine. Okay. So I was like, say, wait a minute. How are you gonna do this? So you basically take it out. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and you hoop it, 
and you can put the hoop in here and you embroider right there okay thank you she was like you gotta unzip it <laughs> they call cuddle they call cubbies they're called cubbies so i take it off and i get able to put it on my hoop like this and hoop it and i or i can float it too we might want so yeah i got this i gotta put this it pop right out too like oh so cool they so cute so if y'all don't know now i'm opening up a um I know you're probably tired of hearing me, but I got to tell everybody that's, that's my newcomer. I'm opening up a boutique for my granddaughter. My granddaughter passed away. She was stillborn. She would have been two in Febu February this year. She was two February 28th. And she, I, my, th my reason why I bought all this stuff, all these embroidery machines, all these sewing machines, was because I wanted to make all her clothes. Okay? I want to make all her clothes. I was I never attend on making clothes for other kids. I was going to make all her clothes. Even though I never used a sewing machine in my life, I started sewing when that um when that pandemic started. I made a lot of masks and stuff, so um I learned how to sew. But I'm still trying to learn how to make little things like children's clothes or whatever. So I made I made my made me a uh, I made me a um, blanket the other day for my son. It turned out right. Like I said, I made pillowcases, so they turned out right. And I made over a hundred something masks for that pandemic. So that's the only things I learned how to sew. But now I, I mean, like I said I started sewing because of her. I wanted to make her clothes, but she didn't make it. So she's an angel in heaven, so I'm gonna make clothes for the angels here on earth because I can't make it for her. So I'm gonna have, I'll have a um, boutique starting up her name. Her name was Araya Nicole Ray. And her the boutique is called A Ray of Sunshine. A Ray of Sunshine. And um A Ray R A E was her big name. It's gonna start, it's gonna stand for remembering Araya every day. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. And I got this baby angels the, with the angel wings. Because not only is my um, site going to be for children's clothes, it's going to also be things I can you can purchase for people that lost their babies. Or, you know, lost the infant for sitting, um, you know, seeds or um, anything, uh, a pregnancy loss or whatever. So they can make these things. You can put, I can personalize these. They put the kid's name and their birthday and stuff on there. So that's cute. It's really fluffy and soft and nice. So this, you pop this pop this thing off too, and you put it on, you can embroider on it with the embroidery machine. So cute. So cute. So I got these to my, my, my granddaughter's, um, her um website. I'm going to be doing clothes, birthday shirts. Um, I'm going to learn how to do tutus soon. I'm intimidated about that. I'm scared to do tutus, but I'm going to learn. And some little, little you know, little things like some probably some pants, and then I'm going to make all the embroidered shirts. Um, and like I said, a few other things on her site. I got a few of these. I just got a few of them because I didn't know how I was gonna like them. Just to start off, to start off, to put them on my site. I'm gonna um, mock them up. Oh, cute! This is from All Stitch. It's, a, it's, it's from embroidery. They got all kinds of stuff on that um, on their site. I just ordered some more stuff today. I got this. Even though I opened the box, I said, let me go ahead and order this stuff because I'll show y'all. Y'all gonna run over there and get some stuff. So let me go run over there before y'all sell. Before y'all buy all up, buy it all up. So I didn't even open the box up. I'm just not opening the box up right now. I'm just seeing the stuff. But uh, before I came on live, I ordered some more stuff. So. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what so it's all stay all stitch.com. Go over there and buy some stuff if y'all got an embroidery machine. And this is the this is the um Madeira 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 Madeira. Golly. I like these because they are big um spools and they are this is a real good thread. I like Madeira. So I got some more over there. So I said, let me go ahead and get some of these. And not that they're not expensive on that on that site either. I love my silver. I love my gold. And I'm getting different kind of browns for skin tones. Oh, that's kind of. I got some more for the skin tones for different. Oh, that's kind of dark. Ooh, that's real dark. But I was trying to get different browns. I didn't know it's gonna be that dark. But I'm trying to get different browns because it's hard to find brown for the skin tones for the things that I do for um for embroidery and stuff. So this is what I got from them. Put this stuff over here. My little um, and I just ordered some more, some more bears, some more teddy bears, and I ordered some blankets too from there because they got the little teddy bear head on it, and then they got the blanket that you can um, you can um, embroider on. So those were cute. So I got that stuff. Thank you. Hey Terry from Michigan. Okay, the number for the brown threads. Like I said, this one is kind of too dark. Ooh, this is real dark. I didn't know it was going to be that dark. Let me open it for you so I can, so I can see, see. Um, oh, but it's okay. It's like a cocoa bean. This number is 1859. This number is... Oh, this is like a, a red brown. 
This number is 1858. That's cute. And this not like this one. This number is 18, I mean 1658. That's cute. That's like a bronze. Hmm. <laughs> uh 1658. So everybody that know when they um when you when you embroider, you always write your your um your your thread number down so you can be able to know what threads you use. So when that customer wants that that thing that picture they see on your site, you'll know what threads you use. You won't have the wrong skin tone. You won't have the wrong pinks or the purple. So when you write when you do your embroidery, just make sure you have a list. People have like little notebooks and little journals or whatever. I just take a piece of paper and I write down what I need to write. How much thread I have to use? What thread I use? What number I use? How long? How many stitches was it? How long it took to embroider that 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 um image? I do all that. On some paper. Cause I just like to write. I when I'm get some paper, just start writing. I got my little journal. I mean, I got my little uh notebook. Okay. Oh. Y'all got more thread I didn't know about. I didn't see that. I show y'all this. I showed y'all this, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. I got more gold. I love pink. So I wanted me a hot pink. I got some other pinks, but I wanted hot, hot pink. And I got this color. I tried to find some colors like this because I had these um these color tutus from um I got them from Hobby Lobby because I didn't make none yet. So I got me some from Hobby Lobby and I was trying to get something that matches. I had no thread that matched the dog on tutus. Hold on. Let's see what I got. Oh, here's some more I had already. That's pink. This is all the, the same brand. I love purple, y'all. Shane on here. Oh, Shayna. I thought somebody said hi to my son. I was like, my son on here. Hey, Shayna. My son name is Shane. I thought that was my son on here. So my hi. Okay, so these are um, there's more colors I want to show y'all. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put these over here out the way so I can get on to what I was doing. Okay, so y'all, let me put my beers up so they won't be on my way. Y'all missed it. I got some, some teddy bears from um and some angels from All Stitch. Check them out. I went back on there today and bought some more stuff before y'all go out there over there and sell out because I got all these people watching me. I got 255 people on here, so I know y'all about to go shop. Like, spend money like I do. It's like these embroidery machines. I got three of them. I'm going to use all of them. My other one come in. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to use them all of them at the same time to get these orders done. And I pray that my boutique does great. Just to honor my granddaughter's name. And she's not here. Her name's gonna still be here. And people are gonna know who she is. Okay. Move this out the way. Go ahead if you don't like this video. And also subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when I do new videos. Because I'm I just pop up, y'all. Ta-da! I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. So let me tell you the pros and cons, the pros and cons first of this cricket mug press. I haven't used it, okay? Uh, this is my first time using it. So, but I still, I do my research. Before I come on here, I do my research, so y'all have to do it, okay? So, I go over, I, that's why I didn't get it when it first came out. Because I want to see what everybody else is doing with it. That's what I do. I, 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 I hold on. I check everybody else out, see what they're doing. So, I can be able to come out and show, hopefully do it right for y'all. So, y'all got to worry about searching, it, searching around, looking for other, other people to do it. Okay? So, it's very lightweight. That's the pro. Let me show y'all the pros. I got this from Cricut.com because nobody else had it. It was all sold out, okay? So that's why I got it from Cricut.com. And the pros, I think, the pros is, it's a it's built-in silicone in here. So it's already silicone in here. It feel like silicone. Maybe it's not, but it feel like it. So you don't have to worry about putting silicone on your an item because it's already in here, okay? The other pro, I think, is small. You can take it places. Like I said, I can take it to my kiosk this year. When I go to the mall, I can take it with me and do some cups there, mugs there, whatever. It's small and it's, it's lightweight. You can't carry around them big old heavy um, heat press, the mud press. Them things is heavy, okay? And then, I, it's, I like this little thing right here. It's not too bulky like the other ones. You got them handles. You got to push down. and got, oh, there's so much work to do with them um, heat presses. So, you just push this down and it goes down real easy, okay? And you got to get copper turner trying to do a mug, okay? Okay. Let me see. I wrote this stuff down so I won't forget because I did all this stuff before I started the rock, the, the, um, live so i can make sure i'm ready for y'all i got 274 people on here hey 
Thumbs up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you all. Um, what am I about to say? Take it out to the mall. Do not. You don't need butcher paper with this, okay? You do not need to use butcher paper for this. I've seen videos. They didn't use it. it, it the, um, the paper, the uh, ASA paper did not bleed through it. So you don't need butcher paper. You can use it if you want to, but you don't need it. That's a con. I mean, that's a pro. I'm sorry. Um... It's only one setting. You push the button and it's, it goes. I don't know how to do that, but it goes. Well, that's how I do I know how to do it because some the tumblers, you basically can't do it with the setting. The tumblers going to take more. But the basically the buttons and stuff, it'll light up when it's ready or it beep or whatever. Like I said, I never used it, but I watch videos. So it's just one, put, one push and, and it goes. Like for the con convection ovens and everything else, you got to get the temperature right. You got to do all this, whatever. Push the button and go. But it is this is all for mugs, y'all. The, con the pros I'm talking about right now is for the mugs. Not for the tumblers, because there's going to be different stuff for the tumblers for this thing. But this is talking about the mugs, okay? This is a mug press. It's not a tumbler press. So it's, it's, it's ideal for mugs. So when you do put tumblers in here, it's going to be different things you got to do to work with that tumbler, okay? So like I said, for the um, mugs, you don't have to use silicone. You um, don't have to use butcher paper. Um, you only have to push one setting, and it goes and heat up, and it beeps when it's done. That's for the mugs. And also... Um, no silicone. You don't got to wrap it up with silicone. You don't got to put the extra coating of tape on there. You do got to seal it up with the one lo one layer of tape, but you ain't got to be all extra like I was last night on that dog on, that dog on live I did last night when I put my tumbler in the convection oven. I had to do two coats of um, tape. You ain't got to do all that. Just do one coat of tape and you'll be good with your mugs and your tumblers in here, okay? And then, what else? It's only, like I said, I'll take about a minute or less for your, for your mugs, okay? For your mugs. So let me tell you the difference between the mugs and the tumblers or the tumblers you use for this machine versus the tumblers you'll put in your convection oven. I have a tumbler. I have a convection oven that I use because I have a heat. I have a air fryer, but my tumblers are too big to fit in my um air fryer. So I put my tumblers in my convection oven. So let me tell you the difference between this and the convection oven with the tumblers. The um for my tumblers, I use this, I use these tumblers, 20 ounce skinny tumblers. I put them in for seven minutes, turn them in the convection oven, okay? But for this machine, you're supposed to only you supposed to put it in for one minute. But with this machine, you gotta turn it. Because it's got this little crease right here. So you gotta turn it to make sure it get heated. So you gotta turn it, like do one minute here, turn it, and do another minute. Then you gotta flip it, do one minute. And then turn it and do one more minute. So it's about four minutes for this, okay? But compared to when you do it in the convection oven, you 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 um spinning it, but it's like it takes seven minutes, okay? So that's the difference between that that and the convection oven. The convection oven, y'all. If y'all see my video last night, you have to basically. Oh, I got it. I thought I didn't have it. You gotta basically get your paper. I mean, get your um your image. Tape it on there. I forgot how to um. Yeah. You... <laughs> Then you tape it on there, make sure it's tight. Then you seal it all the way around, seal it all the way around, and you gotta put this tape on top of it. So I use this um, tape first, the heat transfer tape. Then as you tape it up real good, you gotta put this on top of it because this basically tighten it up. This right here is sealing the paper together to make sure it don't move, but this right here is tightening the paper up. The more tightness you get, the better that the um, paper will touch the, the mug and the, the heat will transfer the ink to the mug. Okay, that's my little, little spin off on how I say what sublimation is because i really all know all the details all the special words for sublimation i just sublimate and it comes out good most of the time okay so that's how you do it with the um with the um convection oven but when i do my when i do my um where i got my, where my stuff at? i don't got one with me when i do my i was gonna show y'all i'm gonna go get it hold on one second y'all i gotta find my silicone wrap it's supposed to be right here oh here it is cool okay but when I do my tumblers in my air fryer, I always forget what the thing's called. It's an air fryer. The blue tape, she said, what is the blue tape? This is uh, Pater's tape. And I use this tape because it's, th it's thicker. It's wider. But you can also use the white tape, the painter's tape, whatever it's called. It's, it's called masking tape. But it's thinner. I use that a lot too. But I think this is stronger. People say it's not. But I think it's got more glue on this. And it's, and it's bigger. It's wider. So you don't have to worry about having that many strips of tape. But I've used the white tape a lot, okay, the um, masking tape. But I use this because it's thicker. I think it's got more glue on it, so it's tight a little bit. But both of them work. I, 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 they both work, okay? So, and I like the white masking tape because you can see the images coming through. So you're like, okay, this looks like it's working because you can see the images coming through. But this tape, you can't see the images coming through. You can't see it because it's too thick. It's blue. You can't see it. When you use that white tape, 
you can see the image, the um, the image from your um ink coming through the white tape. Okay, forgive me. I talk fast. I, I hear myself talking fast. Let me slow down. Breathe. Usa. Okay, with the mugs that I put in my air fryer, I use this, the silicone wrap. Okay, you can't use this for this for the because they're too wide. You don't have any. Well, I've seen this video today for the first time. This lady has some silicone wrap that fit her fit her fit her tumblers but she didn't say where she got it from so i don't know what she got it from so they do have some silicone wrap that fit the mugs that fit the tumblers but they have like a metal thing on there so you cannot use that in this thing you can't use it in here but it was like a metal piece that, that she had tightened it up to make it tight but you can't use it inside this machine but you can put it in the in the oven and use them so she used that or you can use you could use that um what's it called y'all stuff you heat y'all know i'll be i need y'all help what's it called the stuff you heat, the wrap, but you heat it in the shrink shrink wrap. <laughs> the shrink wrap, you can use that too. But I tried to try to use that shrink wrap; it would never work for me. So I just went on here and do the, I do the tape method. The shrink wrap don't work for me. I tried, I bought, I got some, it don't work. So it supposed to make it supposed to basically tighten up the paper to make it tighten to the um tight to the cup, so the ink can um. My words are not right today, but y'all know what I mean. If y'all don't know, I have videos on it. I can't use the shrink wrap because the shrink wrap wouldn't work for me. It didn't come out right. And I used the heat gun and everything. It didn't work. So, yeah. Don't talk. Don't, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'll be getting tongue twisted, talking all fast. Can't think straight. So, this can't... This do not work on these because they're too, they're too short. But this works in the... Um, I use this for my mugs in my air fryer. Okay? You got to use butcher paper for that. You got to use butcher paper and use this. Okay? So, am I done with my, my, my differences between those? Like I said, it's about seven minutes in the oven for the tumblers. Four minutes in this one for the tumblers. You only have to have, you only need two coats of tape when you're using this. But you need two coats of tape when using your um your oven. And you don't need butcher paper for this, okay? You don't need butcher paper. I seen a video. She said no butcher paper. So that's what I'm going to go with. We're going to see tonight what we're going to need. But my thing is... The only thing is difference between this machine. It's not built to make mugs, but we about to make it. I mean, it's not built to make tum. I mean, to heat up tumblers. So something made tumblers. So, but we're gonna make it work today. And people have been doing this. They have hacks that you can use. So, it's, the reason why it's not built to do tumblers is because it's it's skinny, and this is basically th wide enough for a cup. So, if you push this down, if you push this down, it's gonna, it's not gonna be tight. See, it's still, it's loose. So you got to think of a way to um, make this stay tight inside here so it can heat up, okay? People had a different ways. Somebody said put a cardboard in here. But y'all know cardboard is paper, okay? So that can burn. Even though I haven't burned on videos, it can burn and it makes a, a bad smell. I didn't ever do it, but I seen it on YouTube, okay? I see everything on YouTube. So people also use silicone wrap. So what they do is, I mean, silicone mat, silicone. So this is a silicone mat, right? What they do is they cut a piece and they just lodge it in here and let it and, and so it can be tight in here, okay? But today, Charmaine is gonna do something totally different, okay? So we're gonna see if it works. See how, but the only thing I'm scared about is because this is the silicone you use for your 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 mugs. This silicone is thicker. It's thicker. I got this from Michaels or somewhere. It's thicker. Okay. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do today is wrap this up in this thing. Cause when you wrap it up and tape it, but I'm gonna cut it because I don't want to. I don't want to wrap it over it. I'm gonna cut it about this much because I can buy more of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna tape it up and I'm gonna put it in here and it, and it fits perfectly. I already tried it before I got the video. It, it fits perfectly and this might work, but I'm scared because it's kind of thick. So um, see if it, it works and it don't move. Perfect. Okay, and you can. It's all kind of silicone wraps out there. You can mat. You can cut. Okay, but it's thicker. So and this is thinner. So I'm thinking about, I might go ahead and just make it go, instead of a minute, I might go a little bit longer than a minute. I could just cut this piece and just put a piece in here, but I'm trying something new. I'm just going to try it and see. Also got this green mat for Condi. You can use this too, I think. Um, I'm not going to use this. I don't want to cut this. I got some, just like supposed to help with the heat too, but yeah, I've seen people use the cardboard. But the cardboard can burn, which it don't. But I'm like, I'm just trying to do something else. People use silicone and cardboard and, and lodge it in here so it can fit. But tonight we're gonna try this, okay? I'm like, that's the only reason I'm scared of because it's kind of thick, so it might need more time to heat. But it should work. 
And the shrink wrap, you can't use. I mean, I, I'm not good at shrink wrap. And they said also the shrink wrap melts. If you put shrink wrap on here, it's going to melt into your little burner thing. It's like a little metal piece down here. Okay. The silicone is to basically to yeah to make it tight. It's, it's, it's basically it's a, make it tight, the paper tight against the um, image, okay? And this is just make, this is, I'm just using it for this one because you don't need this if you use the mug because it's silicone all over in here. The reason why I'm using this for this is because it's too, it's not going to fit. It's too, it's wobbly. So I need something to hold this sturdy, okay? I could cut a piece in there, cut a piece and just put it in there. But I'm just being different, y'all. I'm just trying to see if it's going to work. If it don't work, I done messed up a tumbler. What y'all think? Should I go ahead and wrap this up in, in a string wrap, tape it? Or should I just use a piece and put it in there? What y'all think? Tell me something. Go watch what y'all telling me. Welcome, Irene. Y'all always do that to me. Y'all always be having equal of the same, of the same, I mean, y'all, so most of y'all, the same, but some of the people are saying wrap it. Some of y'all said cut it. Since we already seen it being cut, I haven't seen a video on it being cut and lodged in there. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. If I mess up, it's a tumbler just being messed up, but y'all know from don't, y'all don't, y'all won't do it, okay? I'm thinking it's going to work because it's silicone, right? Why wouldn't it work? Um, it might not heat up fast enough. Because it's thicker. So I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to cut this. I got this from Michael's or something. Because I don't remember. I looked at my Amazon cart. And I didn't see it in here. No, the bridges won't mess it up. Because I'm going to put it on this side. I'm going to wrap it this side. It really don't. I think the ridges don't. I don't think it's going to mess up. The ridges ain't going to do it. Because it's going to be cause it's gonna be wrapped in paper. So I don't think I don't think it's going to do, not, do nothing with it. Do it. No, I have no problem with that. But I'm going to turn it the other way. We're going to wrap it in the silicone. I'm going to cut it, get it together for y'all, and let's go. Okay, so, I don't know. I should have went on here and um, programmed the dog on Cricket into my, my computer. I meant to do that before I left, but I know y'all want to be like, how you, prog how you programming it to the computer, into your Mac? So, I'm going to do that too. So, I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I got my little heat resistant stuff right here i'm gonna wipe this off because i have glitter everywhere even though this cup is from oh why did it get so dirty oh i put it inside that thing let me wipe this off a little bit with, with paper towel so i have no kind of thing going on with it oh i got 332 people on here and i got 241 lights can y'all go ahead and like this video while i get this cup prepped for this uh sublimation i'm about to go ahead and if y'all new to this channel if y'all new to this video i'm going to go ahead and sub Sublimate this tumbler and this Cricut Easy Press with this silicone wrap. We're going to see if this going to work, y'all. We're going to see if it's going to work. So first of all, we're going to have to get our cup together. We do have to tape it with this um, heat transfer tape. All my links will be below where I get everything from, including my tumblers. I get my tumblers from condi.com. If you, if you go to condi.com, which is a sublimation website, you ask for Chloe. She will hook you up. Tell her, my, tell, tell her that I sent you, Charmaine Galloway. She will um, give you a discount on the sublimation product that you buy, but you have to call in the 1-800 number and talk to her. Ask for Chloe. Okay? So now what we do is you basically take the tape and make sure it's tight. You can't get no, you want no air going in this cup. No air going behind this paper. Okay? So I take it and I pull it. I should have told y'all, I showed y'all what image I was using. But I should have showed y'all again. But we're using the, the women. We are every woman. All the women on there. You'll see it when you get done. But you know, when you sublimate, the paper is always, it looks dull. But the color should pop when you heat it up. So y'all wish me luck, y'all. I don't want to mess this tumbler up. But believe me, I done messed up a lot of tumblers in my life. <laughs> when I first started getting that, doing the oven, y'all done messed up over a couple, 20 tumblers. No, not 20. Probably 15. <laughs> I messed up a lot. But don't, don't throw your tumblers in the garbage, y'all. So I'm not mad. If I mess them up, I, don't, I mess them up. I can, I can basically, epoxy, I mean, you can epoxy them. I don't use epoxy, but you can, um, I put crystal lac on it, put some glitter on it, or you can just paint them, put glitter on it. Do whatever you want to do, but don't throw them tumblers away, y'all. Figure out what you want to do with them. Cover them up. You can, and somebody said in my group last night, you can heat them up, heat the, um, the ink off. I'm like, how do you do that? 
Show me a video, but I don't know how to do that part. So they say you can heat, heat, heat it up and get all the sublimation ink off of there. I don't understand how they do that, but they, they said it could be done. Okay, so I get this and make sure I pull the paper over all one side and I just pull it tight as I could to get it tightened. I can't answer y'all question. Let me see. Charmaine from all the people I follow. Jennifer Maker, honestly, don't use anything except tape. Yeah, you can, but you have to use something because the um, this is a tumbler. You have to use something to keep the tumbler um, because it's not it's skinny. So I have to use something. Yeah, you when you're using the door, it's a mug press, so it's easy. I mean, for a mug press, you don't do nothing but paper and tape. That's it. But since I'm doing a tumbler, I have to put something in there to make it stay because it's too skinny. Well, that's why this reason why I'm using the um using this right here. But if I was using the tum if I was doing a mug, no, don't use nothing but the, the, the mug, okay? Yeah, I seen that too. But I'm just trying to be different. I seen somebody that did that too. They put the little skinny, they look put the little piece of um silicone in there with it and just lodged it in there. I saw that too. That's what I'm saying. I saw that, but I want to see how this is gonna work. It's silicone. But it's a little bit thicker. So it should work. But I just gotta make I probably gotta just go a little bit longer. Instead of a minute, I'm gonna go a little bit longer. So how much how long how much longer do I think I should go? Thank you, Maria. She said it's gonna be great. I hope so. Cause I'm scared. You know, y'all think I'll be scared when I do stuff, and I bring this to y'all because I'm showing y'all so y'all can see if it works or not. I'm doing it for y'all. Okay. Nine minutes. You said nine for nine minutes? <laughs> Cause I, it's only a, take a minute. Everybody else, um, every, I'm talking. If I'm talking loud, I'm sorry. Um, everybody else, when they do these tumblers, they did a minute. Okay, they did a minute with the when they lodge the cardboard paper in there or they lodge the silicone in there. But nobody have done it like this. Nobody have wrapped it up with silicone wrap. The whole the whole cup. Okay, so I'm thinking it should take a little bit longer than a minute because the silicone wrap is around there. So, what y'all think? We gonna learn today. We gonna learn today. I hope it works, y'all. But if it don't, y'all y'all know. And we already know that the silicone works. We already know that if you cut a piece of silicone and put it on the, and, and lodge it down, we know that works. We know that works already. So, um, I want to try something different. So I could be the first to do something. Like, hey, I ain't thought about that. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Well, I ain't playing. So we're going to see. So just be, <laughs> we're going to learn today. So everybody saying two minutes. Y'all sure you don't think two minutes is too long? I was thinking about a minute and a half. But okay, see now I'm just making sure it's stuck. Now if I was doing this in the commission oven, I'm gonna do it all over. I want to tape again, tape it again. But now since we we're not doing that, we're gonna wrap it with this. So I'm, I'm just basically, and this fit perfectly, y'all. Oh my god, let me right here and measure this so y'all can know what it is. I got this from a store. I got this. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby or something. But it's perfectly met it's per uh, it perfectly fit this tumbler so this is if y'all looking for it it is 15 and a half by eight okay silicone wrap and i know i didn't get this from amazon because i couldn't find it on my amazon cart so i'm gonna turn it this way so it can be a straight thing a straight and i'm gonna just stop it right here where it put where, when it overlaps okay and i'm gonna cut it get my little I should have my cut well, my cutting board out but i don't have it my rotary cutter. I should get my exacto knife. Hold on, find me a knife or something. Something stronger. My book. But it's kind of thick, y'all. That's why I'm scared. I never repeat myself again. I'm scared because it's thick. But. Uh, but. Mm, I don't know, y'all. I'm kind of not getting all scared and antsy about this because when people, when some people that was doing this on their um on their on their video, they had like a little when they where they put the silicone at. It was like a little light spot. Because that silicone will stop the heat from going through. So hopefully the silicone won't stop the heat from going through. Okay? Because it doesn't, with this silicone it doesn't. But it's silicone and silicone. But it's, this one is thicker. So, I'm kind of like, uh, what am I doing, y'all? What y'all think? Before I cut it. Hmm, good idea. Try the minute first and see if you can see the, the silicone through the paper. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. We're going to do that. So we're going to try the minute. We're going to try like two minutes. 
And then, ooh, look at my face. Ooh, that was not cute. <laughs> we gonna try it. Um, That way, y'all. Yeah, I talk fast. The silicone you have look too thick. Y'all, okay, y'all scared. I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, lodge it with this. I'm gonna just go ahead and lodge it with this, with the, um, but if it's still, if it's too thick, it's still gonna be too thick. It's still gonna make a little light spot in my, in, in my image then. I'm gonna just cut a piece off and just lodge it in there, okay? Y'all scaring me. Yeah, he transferred through this. Cause it, why? Cause this is a mat. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking too. I don't think that he gonna go through it. Cause it's not supposed to. He's not supposed to go through these mats. But we use silicone. This is silicone. It goes through that. So we just gonna cut it, y'all. Cause he is not supposed to go through this. It's not. I mean, that's true. He not, it's supposed, this is supposed to be heat resistant. So it's not supposed to go through it. But like I said, these are both silicone. So what's the difference? That's my thing. I'm not too technical. I'm not, you know. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just cut it so I can just lodge it in there. Cause I ain't trying to be looking crazy. She said, right here, don't do it. <laughs> Okay, let me see if this is gonna see it's not even thick enough. Well, I can, I can see. but I'm if I put this in there, it's gonna still make it. Um, I don't understand how it, it's gonna still make it. Um, oh, you know what they did? They just basically, um, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I just cut it and I just push this in here to make it not to make it stick in there. And what I do is how they did it, duh, they just when they when they turn it over. They're going to basically reheat that part that they put this piece right there with, okay? So, I'm not going to wrap it, y'all. Y'all have me scared. Like it's, it's like she said, like everybody said, this is supposed to be heat resistant. It's not supposed to go. The heat post is not supposed to go through here, okay? That's what it's for. But this is also silicone wrap, too. And it go, it works. So, that was the reason why I wanted to try it because they both silicone wrap. But let's go. Now that I have my little stuff. Not for, also, you need to make sure you have a piece of butcher paper down here because if you don't, this will burn your cup. This will burn your mug, your tumbler, okay? So make sure you cover that up with some, cut a circle. Oh, my Talk too fast, I'm my tongue. Cut a circle to cover that up. And I could just put it on the bottom of my cup, which I probably will. They said make the circle as small as the little thing. Yeah, that's, that'll fit. But I'm gonna put it on the bottom of my, bottom of my cup. So I don't gotta worry about nothing. She said, somebody said, well, now we'll never know. <laughs> nope. I'm, somebody can do it on the live. I don't, like I said, silicone is supposed, it's supposed, it's meant to not go through. The heat not supposed to go through it. So I'm just going to go with the flow like this. So I'm just going to put tape on the bottom of this. Okay. So it won't burn my cup because people say the cup was burning. It's my first time doing this. Why is my battery going low already? Are you kidding me? See, this is, this is, my phone's tripping. I just charged my phone up. Okay, so now let me go ahead and I got this out the way. I got this out the way. I got this out the way. Let's go to the computer so I can charge this phone up. I'm, and I'm gonna show y'all how to hook it up with the um with Cricut. Let's go. Well, let me get my Cricut design space going. And they, it comes with a cord, so you gotta basically put this in your computer. When they tell you to put it in the computer. I'm gonna show y'all step by step how to do it real quick. So let me get my um launch my cricket space and plug this phone up. Okay. Okay, here on Cricket, and we got 368 people watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit that red bell to be notified when I do new videos. My name is Charmaine Galloway. I've been crafting since July. Uh, it'll be two years this July. And I just craft, I do everything from Cricket to um, sublimation. I do it all. Silhouette. Okay, so I have my Cricut, my um, Cricut design space open. So what you need to do is go here. I, I, I watched this all on the video, so hopefully I remember all the steps that she told me to go to. It, um, go to new machine setup. And then you go to heat press. And then you go to heat, um, cricket mug press. Okay, step one. 
Um, place the Cricut mug press on the heat resistant surface in a well ventilated area. Uh, it's not ventilated down here. So we're gonna be all right. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this right here. Put this on my table right here. What's this called, y'all? I know I'll be forgetting all the stuff that I'll be buying. It's called um Teflon paper. Get your, your heating gloves because you're gonna need it because it's gonna get real hot. Put this over here on the top. Do not, never, never plug anything cricket. Nothing, none of your stuff. Don't never plug anything into a um um into a stitch record. Plug it right into an outlet. I did that before. My, me and my, I had a, um for my daughter baby shower. We did a um the onesie table, and we had the easy presses with us, and they would not heat up. Why? Cause we had a stitch record. Yeah. So don't ever plug your cricket stuff into a stitch record because it would not work. Okay. Now I got my plug. Uh, it's already plugged into the wall, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the back of the machine right here. Of course, they, they plug this right here in the back. Hold on, I gotta put this phone down because I gotta push it in. Uh oh, sorry. Okay, so it's, it's in. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. I could get my dang on. Oh, me and these dang on. I want to use it to put it in my hand. I could use my tripod, tripod, but I'm gonna use it in my hand so you can better see the computer better. Okay, so now it's plugged in. Now it says what it says plug in the outlet. So it's already plugged in the outlet. And now it says use the, um, Included USB cord to connect this to your um printer. I mean to your computer. So let me go ahead and it's so short. Put this in here and turn it around again. Let's go back here. Sorry if y'all getting see um getting dizzy. It's in there. Plug it into my computer. The cord is so dang gonna short. <sighs> this ain't gonna work, y'all. Hold on. This ain't gonna work. Why did make this court so short? Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta put the phone down. Hold on. I gotta remove. Re I'm sorry. This is a lie. Y'all can get what y'all get. I gotta move my computer over so it can fit. Still ain't gonna fit. Hold on, y'all. Not my fault the cord is too small. Look how long the cord is from the dang on outlet. Oh. <laughs> this is so short. I ain't got no way to... Got to be real close to the outlet, y'all, if y'all going to do with this with the cricket. These cords are too short. Okay, so now it's plugged in. Okay? So now it says... plug. It's in my computer. I'm using a Mac. Okay, my internet acting stupid. So yeah, it, it did freeze, but I nothing happened. So it was just waiting for this to go. Hopefully my internet works. I guess it just oh it's just updating everything. So hopefully everything go good. But my phone just froze, but don't worry, I, you didn't miss anything because I saw it froze. Yeah, I gotta get another cord. So we just waiting for it to update. And you know that Cricut has all kinds of stuff you can use inside their machine. But what I did was I just printed out on my um silhouette studio. I printed out and then I printed out with my sublimation print, printer, sublimation ink. But you know, Cricut got all kind of stuff in their little um, design space that you can use with their with their vinyl, with their heat transfer stuff, with all that other Cricut stuff they use. You can use. They have a lot of different things you can go in there and check out. But I ain't gonna use. I don't use that stuff. I mean, I could use it, but I just use my sublimation. So we're just gonna wait till this go. Any questions? Anything y'all wanna ask? Why I wait? I got three hundred and sixty-seven people on here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, you're not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. Oh, something place the printer on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on here. Um, I'm putting my she said place it on your heat thing, heat resistant pad. I'm gonna melt my table. I ain't got no room, I can't even put it over there. Come on now, cricket. It's taking you so long. I wonder this guy he plugged up the whole time I'm using it. I gotta charge my dang on phone up. Hold on. Oh, okay. She said, don't have to get that hot, but I'm gonna still go ahead and cover it. That's what I said. Why? Because they want you to make sure you plug in the cricket. That's what I'm saying. Why you gotta plug it into the printer? It uh, Basically, you have to plug it in so you can, uh, you can, if you don't have cricket, it ain't gonna work. If you don't have design, it basically ain't gonna work. So hopefully, I can unplug it after I, um, After I do this, I hope I can unplug it from the computer. But if things is going, it might not work, y'all. I ain't about to be sitting here all day waiting for this to 
Come on, come on, come on. Why is it not working? The sand is updating. And my internet is on, so my Wi-Fi is up working, so I don't know what's going on with Cricket. Oh, uh, had it on the wrong Wi-Fi. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so that was my fault. Sorry. I had it on the wrong Wi-Fi connection. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can also go in here to find stuff. You can search um, Cricket. Which what is it called? You can you can you can search mug press right here, and it can pop up all kinds of designs you can use for your mug press. It's supposed to. It's supposed to, but it didn't. Uh, this is all my project, so why is it not doing that? Let's see. I don't know. I thought I remember what the girl said. Do my projects maker. I'm missing a step, y'all. Make her explore. Let's see. Cricket exists. I don't know, but I know it's the way you post. You could you post the um. You can go in here. Somebody know. But um, you can go in here and then you can basically go to Cricket. Um, cause I use um, I really don't use a lot of stuff in Cricket. Only thing I use is design space. I don't never go in here and get all the all the stuff they have in here. I don't use all that stuff in here. So I just go and I just use the um design space. So it's a way you can go in here and you can find out all of the um, images and stuff for the mug press. They have all kinds of images you can use for the mug press. But I ain't worried about that. I don't, know how to, I don't have to do all that, but you can. It's a way you could do that. And I thought I could remember. Oh, let me see. All categories. Uh-oh. All categories. There you go. Bam. <laughs> so and it says mug press. Oh, I, I put mug press in here. Now I have to put, I didn't have to put in um, all categories. So right here. This is all kinds of designs you can use through um, Cricut that you can use on your mug press. Okay. So there we have it. But I don't do I don't use all these things. I just use sublimation paper, sublimation ink. But there's some cute stuff on here. But I probably would go through. This is using a um they ink. What's that called? That um let me see. It'll tell you right here what you need. The materials you need, you're gonna need vinyl. And then gotta weed. Oh, so this is just regular vinyl. You know, it say vinyl, don't say H T V. So they just putting it on they just using the regular vinyl for this stuff. So why is they using the heat press then? Well, whatever, Cricket, whatever. Okay, so now let's go ahead and turn this thing on. I wonder, can I, why is it not, I wonder if I can unplug it from the, from the computer now. So anybody got the mug press, can you keep, can you unplug it from the computer now, or you got to keep it plugged in the whole time? And why is it not cutting on? Oh, because <laughs> it's not plugged in. It came up because I, I pulled it. I'm like, why this thing ain't coming in? Oh, there it is, it just beeped at me. I pulled it too far away. The cord is so short. So now it's on, y'all. Ah, it's time to reveal what we're going to do here. Do I got to keep this thing plugged into the computer all this time? <laughs> that's, one, that's one thing I don't remember going over. So let's go ahead and put y'all back up here. My phone about to go dead. I need to charge my phone with my computer. But this stupid. Go ahead and move this computer out the way because I don't need it. I guess you gotta keep the dang on heat press plugged into it. I don't know why. Oh, you have to unplug it? Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. It's still beeping. Okay, I did it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark my um basically it's good to make sure that this tumbler is not touching the bottom of this so it won't burn. So I just lift it up a couple in not even it's not I gotta have it plugged in, y'all. You gotta plug it in. Cause it stopped beeping. So I gotta plug it in. That's so crazy. Like why? I hate this. That's the pro, I mean a kind I don't like. I don't like that. Why you gotta keep it plugged into your computer? Okay. So we're gonna do my okay, I got to cut the piece of silicone out there. I'm gonna use it so it can stay in here, so it can, you know, be really tight. Let me just see something. I'm gonna I'm I'm do it twice. I'm gonna basically um, fold it twice so it can have a good thing. Well, it's, when I unplugged it, y'all, 
it um it's the the light stopped blinking off and on. So I'm gonna keep it plugged up. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. The only thing I didn't know about it was how, if I had to, um, if I could unplug it from the computer. I didn't know about the bear thing else I knew, but I didn't know about if I could unplug it from the computer or not. Okay. So I'm gonna mark it so I can know where I started at. I gotta heat this thing up. I guess I gotta heat it up for a little while. I'm gonna mark it so if I put it right here, I know that this part right here didn't get heat up. Can y'all see that? So I'm gonna make sure I know that this part right here didn't get heat up, heated up. Between here and here. So I know to come back to this spot so I can turn it, so I know how, to, how much to turn it, okay? Okay, it says turn, they said turn green when it's ready. It's not ready yet. So I'm gonna wait till it turns green. Any questions? Thank y'all for y'all that already tried doing this because that's some a couple steps I probably missed watching other people's videos. I didn't know these things. You gotta turn it back on. It's, it's on. It's beep it's blinking. It's blinking right now. The light is blinking off and on right now. So I'm just waiting for it to heat up, right? I already did activate everything. I activated it. So you saying I just activated it again because it's unplugged? Because I unplugged it on accident? This is crazy. This is too much work. New machine. I'm going to do it again. I plugged it in. Oh, maybe because I, I unplugged it by accident. I got to do it all over again. With the regular heat press, so you do is put it in the wall and go for it. So, okay, there you was right. Thank you. I had to activate again because I had to. Now I would say updating again. Let's go to the latest. I unplugged it because the cord was too short, so it came out the wall. So I had to update it again, y'all. Sorry. Now it was green. So every time you unplug, you got to update it. I mean, you got to activate it. Still updating. Okay, it's ready. This happened. This has happened when you come on lives. I can't edit nothing, so y'all helping me out. Thank you, cause I wouldn't know. But yeah, the plug came out, so I had to activate it again. Okay, but the light is off. Okay, now I turn it back on. I'm gonna let it warm up. I need a drink. No. <laughs> this is too much. You don't update or activate each time, only once. Okay, so why did that just happen then? I don't understand it. The plug came out, so I had to activate it again. Because it was it would the light wouldn't come on. She told me to unplug it now. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to do this process over again. I'm going to keep it plugged in. You sure? Okay. Now the light is red. Do I need to... Can I unplug it now? The light is here. It says it's red. It's not blinking. Should I unplug it? Because you unplugged the power while it was working. <laughs> you need to drink because it won't play. <laughs> okay. It was done. I thought it was done uploading. Okay. I'm going to unplug it from my computer now. Okay. I'm going to plug my phone in so it can charge. The light is red. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit. She Somebody said no. <laughs> Y'all, she said yes, unplug it. I'm going to unplug it. It's unplugged. And the light is still on. Yay. Okay. So, y'all teaching me. I didn't know. I smell it. It's not too strong. Like a, It's not like a heat press. It's not like a convection oven. It's, it's it's smooth. It's not bad at all. Let me move my computer out the way now. What I might do, I was about to say, if I might come on here and go to my computer and come see how my computer because my phone about to go there. Because I can't have my phone plugged in. It was hot, though. It's, like, it's, not, it's heat, but it's not as hot as a convection oven, though. Oh, shoot. I'm 
I'm just letting it warm up. Will it beep when it's ready, right? Okay. She said it beep when it's ready. I'm going to wait till it beep, y'all. See, if y'all wasn't here, I'd just be going through it, editing it until I got it right. But thanks for y'all for y'all help. Because ain't no editing on this. This is a live. I got my piece ready. I'm going to go ahead and get it together so I can push, put it in there. I marked my cup so I know this part right here is not heated. When I put it in there, I'm going to make sure I um don't put it all the way to the bottom so it won't burn the bottom of the cup. But I, I even though I still put something on here. I don't need to put a butcher paper on it because the paper, the um the ink will not go through the A sub paper. Wait a minute, this is not even A sub paper. This is the regular copy paper, so it'll be alright. I didn't even I thought I used A sub on that photo, and I didn't. But it's cool. It should still work. Cause will it work? It should work. I use regular paper all the time on my sublimation ink. So we gonna see, we gonna see. The smell to me is strong. Not right else. It's not strong to me yet. It's like a. It's not even a bad sm smell. It's like a. It's not like a. I don't know. I can't explain it to you. But it's not like a a, a smell you get from the convection oven or the uh, mug I mean, or the mug presses or the. It's like a. No, I'm not gonna say sweet smell. <laughs> Sound crazy, but it's not strong. I don't know. Yes, you could use copy paper. You could use the um, hammer mill copy paper for sublimation. I have used it. I've used it. I'm using it now. But, and it's cheaper. Way cheaper than A-Sub. But we're going to see if it's going to work with this machine. I mean, it works with my sublimation. It works with my um, heat press in my oven. We're going to see if it works with this. This is hammer mill paper I'm using. You can get that from Home Depot. You can get it from Office Depot. Hammer mill copy paper. We're going to see today. But I thought I had a sub. I really wanted to use a sub today, but this image is already printed out, so I just went on here and used what I already had printed out. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a it's, a it's a slight chemical burning, like electric. It's like electric, like <laughs> electric wires. <laughs> I don't know, but now it beeped. Okay, now it's green. I'm scared, y'all. So let me show y'all this thing. Yeah, especially when I'm on the dang on live. I got me on this live about to burn this cup up. Okay. Y'all can see this? Now what I'm going to do is, what's going to happen is, what happened was, I'm going to go ahead. I see, I got this mark right here. I'm not going to make sure I know that's, that's not, that's not done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here first. Oh man, somebody got to set a timer for me, okay? Because I don't feel like doing all that. Don't play with me. Make sure y'all do it. Set me a timer. Get ready. Somebody do a timer for a one minute timer because I can't get my computer. Yes, because I can't get my computer to work real quick. So anybody ready? Who gonna do a timer for me? One minute timer. I can. I can do. I can do a timer. Hold on. I'm gonna cook the burn. One minute timer. Timer. T i m e r. Who got? Who got me? Okay. Hold on. Don't do it yet. When I say go, go. Don't do it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in here. Lost this in here. Eh. Put it about right here. I'm going to lift it up some so it won't be all the way on the little metal thing. Push it down. Go for one minute. I don't like that because it's a gap. There's still a gap in here. I'm going to take it off. Hold on. Start over. It's too much gap. Okay, start over. Still a gap. Oh, well, go. One minute. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too, I'm just it's just going it's going to frustrate me because it's new to me. Okay, so I'm just I will get used to it. And I think I even forgot to lift it off the dang on thing. Oh no, I didn't. It's on there. Whatever, Charmaine. So go do it for one minute. Rotate before you flip it. Yeah, I know. I gotta. I'm gonna rotate it so I can get this part covered because this part is not covered. So I'm gonna put this part to the back. For one more minute. So it's going to be four minutes. The whole thing is going to be four minutes for this tumbler. So I'm just scared about this right here. This is not getting... Well, it's going to heat up when it goes down there. That's the reason why I'm thinking, like, how this part didn't get heat up? Because this, this um, silicone is right here. So basically, after you flip it, it will get heated up. That was my thing. Like, how, how did this work? One minute, because that's what everybody else is doing it for. <laughs> you said, why one minute? Because everybody else is doing it for one minute. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a follower. <laughs> That's what works. They say that's what works. But if you're using the if you use a mug, you just basically push the button in the, in the work for mug. But this is not a tumbler press. This is a mug press. So if you're using a mug, you only push the button and then the button, it will, it will beep. 
But this right now is not going to beep because it's not a mug in there. And they know that it's not a mug in there, I guess. Okay? So that's why. Okay, the one minute is up, right? Okay. So now I got to open it. It's kind of hot. Let's see. Let's see if it's... Um, Oh, it's coming through. Look, can y'all see it? Coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the back. It's not, it's not that hot yet, but it's about to get hot. So I'm going to turn it to the back. So I can know that part was not covered. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. I don't think it's going to work, y'all. Because it's not, it's, it's not, it's tight in here, but I still see a gap right here. Like, it's a gap right here. Like, how is that getting covered if the gap is right there? Wrap it in paper. No, you don't, you don't got to wrap it in paper. It says you don't have to wrap it in paper because the, basically you wrap it in paper so it won't make sure the ink won't bleed through. But it's not going to bleed through. So that's why you don't have to wrap it in paper. Only wrap it in paper if, you think if the ink is going to go through. But I don't like it. It's not really going. The ink is not coming through. But you see it's smoking now. But it's a gap right here. So I think it's going to be some, it's going to be some ghosting. Next time I'm going to probably turn this the other way. We gonna work with it. We gonna work with it. Y'all gonna see what it is when it's over with. Y'all gonna see if it's gonna work or not. But it's, it works because I've seen videos. But it's just the way this is might have a little shadow because of this piece right here. Oh, did y'all start your timer? I'm talking. <laughs> Doggone it. Hope somebody got me. No, you can't let it go until it stops, Stacy. Because this is not a mug. If it was a mug, you can let it go. But you cannot let it go with this because it's not it's not a mug. This is supposed to be a mug press. So you got to let it go for at least a minute. That's why everybody's been using a minute. And it worked. But if you had a mug in here, you let it go until it stopped. It's been a minute? Okay, y'all say it's a minute. Let me put my gloves on. It's not even hot. I mean, the cup is not even hot. Like... I don't know if it's going to work, y'all. <laughs> it's not even hot. I can, I'm able to touch it without even putting gloves on. And it's not even going through that much. So. <laughs> I don't know about this, son. Okay, so. I'm going to. It's okay. It's, it's going through a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and just do the bottom. And see how, how it goes from here. This time I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it sideways. This is hot. But the cup ain't hot. Like, what the, what the heck? Put it like this. Hold on, let me get my mark, my marking. I should have just marked it with the tape right here. I'm going to just mark with the tape. So right here is where I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm going to go ahead and put that to the back next time. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here this way this time. So it can probably get an even more thing, more, and just rise it up from the thing a little bit. Okay, like an inch, they said. So I'm going to do one minute. It's not strong at all, y'all. It's not strong at all. But if y'all got, I got, I got sister some Nova. I can smell everything. And it's not strong to me at all. My sneaky laughter. <laughs> Talking about my laughing. My laugh. She's getting her anxiety. <laughs> yep, timer on. I got it. So see how right here, I'm, I'm, this part right here is not heated. I'm going to make sure this is to the back next time. I think I'm gonna do this another. I'm gonna do this and do it again because I can see it going through, but it's not as good as you can see it through a convection oven. So I guess you make it go longer if you want it to pop. Okay, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna do it again. But it's gonna work, y'all. Just gotta figure it out. But everybody else is doing a minute with the silicone wrap, or they're using paper. They're using cardboard paper, cardboard box, or whatever. Four hundred and thirty-four people watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are trying to do this tumbler for the first time. This is my first time using the mug. This um, Cricut mug press, I'm bringing y'all with me to show y'all my mistakes. So if I make mistakes, y'all won't do the same thing. So yes, there will be mistakes. There's no editing in this video. Okay, one minute is up. Now let's see what I got to do. Is it hot yet? It's, it's hot a little bit, y'all. So now I'm going to turn it to make this part go to the back. Still not that hot. Uh, this thing is hot, though. This is hot, but the dang on cup ain't hot. Like, what the heck? So, put this to the back. Oh, shoot. It's getting hot. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure it come up a little bit. Now, all the way to the bottom of the thing. About an inch up. Press it. Hold on. Let me put this, bring this up some more.
about an inch up. <laughs> I got a feeling this ain't gonna work. And it's too much work for me. I think I'm gonna go back to my confection oven. Just letting y'all know. I'm I would I would definitely use this as a mug press. I would definitely, definitely, definitely use this as a mug press. Now, for those that don't have a convection oven, okay, you could do all this. But me, it's be my last time doing this. But I would definitely, even though I never use this for mug press, I know it's gonna work for a mug because Everybody got it on YouTube. It's on YouTube all over the place. So I know it's going to use, so I'm not going to do a mug today because I know it's going to work. So I would definitely use this as a mug, but I would never, I would never do this again for a tumbler. I got a convection that I can use. I just rather go through this taping process than doing this. It's too much. Anybody got the timer wrong? Because I don't have it on there. I'm just being real with y'all. Yeah, this is for me. This is what I do. I do the trial and error so y'all can show if it's going to work or not. But like I said, it will work. But it's just too many. It's too much. I'd rather just tape it up and put it in the convection oven. Who got my time? Because I don't have it. That's what I was thinking too. But nobody else did that. Somebody, she said, put a silicone in the front. And I was thinking the same thing when I was watching the video. But nobody else never put it in the front. They always put it on the side. <laughs> but it, it'll probably push through this little gap right here. So it probably will work though. Yes, I've used, somebody used it. Oh, I watch videos. Believe me, that's all I do is watch YouTube videos. So it's been done with the silicone. Not the whole silicone wrap, no. But somebody put silicone in here because they say silicone is better than putting paper in here because paper can't burn. Silicone don't burn, which makes sense. And then that paper give a, a bad smell. So, um, no, y'all, I'm not about to, uh-uh. I'm going to do this. this now, that, that look okay. But when you put it in the convection oven, you see so much ink coming through. So I, I would un unwrap this right now but i'm not because it's not good enough for me it's not good enough for me so i'm gonna put it back in there i'm gonna put it back in there okay so i don't like this with the tongue maybe like i said it works and burn so i just say okay let me try to let me try the silicone let me try this again y'all I'm going to go ahead and try it another minute. But people have done it for one minute and it worked. But I just don't like the way it's not, it's the, the color is not popping like, or should I just go ahead and unwrap it, y'all? Can I, should I unwrap it? Should I unwrap it? Y'all going to be messing this. She said, said I'm wrapping. I'm going to be pissed after I wrap it and my, my tumbler going to be messed up. <laughs> I can see that the dang ink is not even really good, especially um, Michelle Obama's face. Let me do it. Hold on. Let me get her face again. Let's see if her face is right here. Her face is up there. Let me do this again. I ain't about to mess up this tumbler. Let me just I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to be mad, y'all. This whole live went to it's gonna be ruined. I won't do it. I won't do a tumbler again. I just won't. Not for me. She said no what? <laughs> Unwrap it. I did flip it. I did flip it, didn't I? Yeah, I flipped it. And I did it twice, didn't I? Okay, right, thank you for putting the time wrong. I won't do a tumbler again, y'all. This is too much. Now after this, I'm gonna go ahead and just unwrap it. The mug, like I said, I will do it for the mugs, but I'm gonna do it for the tumblers again. Too much. You gotta remember if you flipped it or not. Did you turn it up both white ways the other time? I don't. It's, it's a lot to remember. She said, "Put it in the oven." <laughs> No, I'm, it's it's cool. I'm a, if it's messed up, I'm, it's cool. I can just go ahead and um put some glitter on top of it. Is it a minute yet? Okay. See, I like it better now. I like it better. I just need more time. Okay, I need more time. So now I can see Michelle face. Now I'm a, um I love it. It's it's much better, much better. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and go with my instincts and I'm going to press it. Now, 
I had it this way, right? I had it this way, right here. So this time I'm gonna do it again this way. Cause um, and then I'm gonna go after this time. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go, cause I it, it was enough time. Tell me, let me know the time. Start now. Yeah, it, I know when you're supposed to look like. And so I do something right, cause everybody. This other lady, I said I seen some. I see two other videos, and they did a minute, okay? Unless they lied about it, cause it wasn't live. Like this is live, but they both said one minute, and it worked. So I don't know why it's not working for me. I can tell that the ink is not going through it. So somebody said, okay, thank you for setting the timer. Let me know when it's a minute. Too much work. Yes, yes, it is. I'm not gonna do it again with no tumbler. But this would be a perfect way to do a mug perfectly. The, the oven is easier. Yes. The only thing I hate about the oven is you gotta do all that tape and stuff, which I'm used to it. Now I did over. I did over hundred cups tumblers so i won't do this again with tumblers but this would be a perfect perfect like i said before about a thousand one times this would be a perfect thing to do for mud because when you push that button it'll go into it, it'll go all the way through and you don't got to worry about um you don't got to worry about turning or nothing to, um, you do it one time push your button one time it'll beep and it'll be done with the mugs it's easy easy for the mugs matter of fact if i had a um if i had a print uh, uh, something that's already printed out i would do a mug but i don't want to um I don't want to print out another piece of. Print. I don't want to print out something right now for a mug, and do it. I tried candy shrimp wrap. It don't work for me. I can't do shrimp wrap. Shrimp wrap. I tried. I bought a whole lot of candy shrimp wrap. I tried like five times. It didn't work. She said the time is up. Okay. Yes. Now for sure. I know this side of the cup gonna be done. It's gonna be cool. This side of the cup is gonna be fantastic. Okay. But this side of the cup, right here, let me see. I'm just trying to show y'all. I did Michelle. Um, ooh, that's gonna be her. See her skin, even her skin tone coming out. See, it's Michelle's skin tone coming out. So <laughs> Oh my God. This is crazy. I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera. I'm just trying to figure out. If I should do it one more time. Okay, if I put it this way. I ain't trying to mess up this cup, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time right here. That's let me see. Right here. Um probably right here. This is crazy, y'all. I don't like it for the tumblers, okay? This will be my last video for the tumblers. One minute, please. One minute. I can't. Somebody keep on saying to let it go into the beep. I have um. If it won't never, I don't think it'll never beep. Beep. It won't beep because I don't know why. I mean, just I don't know it. If I, if I'm gonna see, you want me to go? You want me to let wait till it beep? Because it's not really a full. It's not. It's not full. It's like I, I guess this thing. It, it basically scents when the whole cup is filling the silicone. This is not filling the silicone because it got a gap right here. The gap right here, so it's probably ain't gonna really censor the, the 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 full heatness of the cup because it's not sealed correctly, right? So that's the reason why we I don't think we should wait until it beep. Right. So you can't do because like I said, the videos I seen, they all just said go go one minute and flip it, go one minute on both sides, then flip it and go two one minute on each side. So that's what the video was telling me. So I'm about to, this is my last time. I'm gonna go ahead and um. So now y'all went to did this, watch the video for nothing because you already know what temperature and time you need for a tumbler. It's just like trial and error. You just gotta play with it. Which, like I said, I would not do this again with this. I'm gonna put in my convection number. But like I said, for the 1500th time, it'd be great for mugs. Okay, I'm ready. To, I'm about to let it cool off a little while, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um unplug this thing because it stank. <laughs> I will do a mug for y'all to show y'all, but I don't have. I don't want to. I'm gonna take this. Let me. I'm gonna charge my phone up for go dead, y'all. Um, I don't have um nothing printed out. And I really don't feel like finding no image to print it out. Then I gotta measure the cup and do all that kind of stuff. So y'all, it's so many videos on YouTube. You can see them doing the um mug. And it wasn't that many on YouTube with the cup. So I, I mean the tumbler. So I said let me go ahead and do a tumbler. Okay, that's why I did this tumbler. And I got my phone charged again, so I won't go dead on y'all. Let me put this, um, unplug this thing. Like I said, the smell is not bad at all. 
I appreciate y'all for understanding. She said she appreciate me for showing. I appreciate y'all for sticking around and watching me goof up and not knowing the heck I'm doing. But I'm showing y'all from child and error so y'all can see from my mistakes. Like I said, I did my research before I got on here. But the only thing I didn't know was if I had supposed to unplug it after <laughs> after I got after I um um start, installed it. I didn't know if I could because they didn't have that in the video, so I didn't know. This is my first time opening this thing, so I didn't have no clue. But I did like watch like five different videos on I'm scared. I know it's gonna, it's gonna, most of the cup gonna look right, but some of it's gonna be, I know, I got a feeling it's gonna be, um, ghost a lot of places. But we gonna check it out, honey. Yeah, the mugs are beautiful. The mugs are beautiful because it's fit for a mug. And you got the handle space, you ain't gotta worry about nothing, you gotta worry about turning it, just push the button and go with it. It's. Nope. It didn't, of course, it didn't heat all the way through. I'm all slow because I want to see before y'all see. <laughs> let me just take this tape off and let me just hurry, hurry to take it off. Not too bad. <laughs> but like I said, it don't matter if it's bad or not because y'all still don't know the right time and tip for it, though. Y'all still don't know. So what we'll go for, what? go for two minutes for each side, each turn and twist we did, do it two for two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because we still don't know because we was playing around with it. So I say about two minutes, but everybody else is doing one minute. So, but that one minute, I'll say that one minute was going to work. Not for me, it wasn't. Because that paper, I was not seeing enough image, enough skin color, enough skin tone coming through. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to. But it's, it's okay. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm surprised myself. It's not bad. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all soon. <laughs> looking at it. Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. I know y'all want to see too. I'm trying to. I got my little thing from Cricut, little thing that I can scrape it off with. But one thing I do like about this, y'all, it's not sticky. When you use that dang on tape, it's sticky. This is smooth selling. No more stick stickiness. Oh, uh, it worked, y'all. Only one, two. Let me show y'all real close. <sighs> Shoot, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Look, that's a mistake right there. Okay? Because I it just didn't, you know, I didn't do too good on the hair. Okay? I should have went all the way down. But they said don't go down because it burned it. So I should have went all the way down. I'm going to show you the whole cup first. Now, you see, I told you Michelle's going to be right. I told you that. I told you she was going to be good because I seen her skin tone coming through. It did good, y'all. So I would go two minutes. Okay? I would go two minutes. Y'all gonna want me to, y'all gonna, gonna have to do this again. And right here, it didn't work through right here. Of course, I never get the seam correct. But you can see how all this is messed up on the top because of when we flipped it, they said to move it up some, and I did. The bottom of, was that, a, if that bottom didn't do too good either. But the color is popping. The color is popping with a couple mistakes on the side. So I don't feel too bad, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. I was like, what happened to her face? <laughs> it's tape, y'all, just tape. It's cute, y'all. Of course, it's going to be for me. Because I don't have no tumbler for myself. I always make stuff and I'll make it for my... I do make... I did make me a blind tumbler, but... I don't have no tumbling tumbler for myself, for real. I don't. So, I'll be ready. I'll be happy to, um, to, to support... I mean, to um, support this one. Ain't it cute, y'all? Oh, my gosh. I did good. But you ain't going to never notice that because, look... You're going to have that lid on. Everybody going to be able to see that, for real, for real. But, yeah, you can see the ghosting up there because, like I said... They said move it up. I should have just kept it down. I shouldn't have left. I shouldn't have lifted up any. No, and didn't see. We didn't burn the bottom up, which is good. It got the bottom real good though. Like I said, around the edges. So we did good, y'all. Like I said, mine's two minutes. Take about two minutes, and it probably was cool for that one minute. It probably was cool, but I didn't trust it for that one minute because I didn't see her skin tone coming through. But when I get that ten, that two minutes, I seen her the, the the skin tone coming through, the color. Now this is not like no popping color because it's like these are like really dark colors for real. But if you use like oranges and yellows and stuff like that. It'll probably, um, you probably will need the two minutes. But look at that. I know somebody else said that too. Somebody said I should put my company name on the bottom. Look at that, y'all. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. 
I'm happy. Like I said, it's my Tumblr. I was showing it to y'all. Showing this for y'all. And let me tell y'all, I'm not doing this no more, no Tumblr. I'm not. Because if I would have put it in the oven, it wouldn't have did all this. And I wouldn't have to be. But like I said, for the 1500th time, use this for, I mean, it's perfect for a mug press. But y'all can do it with the tumblers. Y'all know it's two minutes now. Well, some people can do it for one minute. Okay, I'm, I just want to keep on looking at it, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thumbs up, y'all. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if I did pretty good. Thumbs up if I did pretty good. Thumbs up. Let me see a thumbs up on my in the in the comment. I mean in the top of the um screen. I gotta hold my phone because well I don't gotta hold it. I put it on top of the computer. Because my phone going this and I got it on my charger. But I like it. This is my tumbler I'm gonna use for myself. I finally got me a tumbler to use for myself because I messed it up. <sighs> um y'all want me to do it? Y'all want me to do a mug? Y'all get on my nerves. Y'all want me to do a mug? No thumbs up on the um thumb, like this video. Like this video for me. I got 422 people watching. Like the video first. And I'm gonna go ahead and print out something for a mug. I'm gonna do a mug. I know y'all gonna make me do it. I know y'all gonna make me do it. It's only 9.50. Usually I'll be on here till one o'clock. But I don't got no work. I got some orders to do, but I really don't got no orders to do like 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 that, like that. I can do. I can wait till tomorrow to do them, and it's still early for me. I can still get off the live with y'all after I do this mug, and I can go ahead and do the um, do my orders later on tonight too. I got like I got to do. A, I still got to do my Kobe Bryant patches. If you're not familiar, I do a lot of embroidery patches. I do a lot of embroidery applique. Check out my other videos that I did. I'm not gonna show y'all again because I know y'all tired of them. the ones that have been following me. I know y'all tired of seeing the same old stuff each video. So y'all check out the videos that I've done before this one. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I need pressure on my ice. I'm addicted to it. I need some ice. This image I got from um a Facebook group. I'm pretty sure I did. I got it from somebody on Facebook. A Facebook group that be giving out images. That's where I got it from. I don't think I paid for that. Somebody was giving it away on the Facebook group. How many, how many thumb downs I got? Somebody got thumb down. <laughs> Let me see how many thumb downs I got. I got two thumbs down. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm still smiling, though. I know somebody said, um, get the mug. I'm gonna find out something on here. Let me find something. Let me go ahead and turn y'all so y'all can see what I got. I got so much crap on my silhouette. But I gotta go get the mug and I gotta measure the mug and see what the mug, how, how much, how big the mug is, all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna go to the silhouette real quick. But it don't matter about them two likes. I ain't mad. I got 297 likes, okay? I only got, I mean, I have to say, I don't care about the thumbs down. I got 297 likes. That's all I care about. And thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching. Um, what am I doing? I'm all over the place. Let me see what I got. What I'm looking for. Silhouette is down here. I got so much stuff on Silhouette. Um, let me see what I want to put on Silhouette. Excuse the pictures that I've, let me see. I might just go ahead and use this one, this one I did for my tumbler. This is the tumbler I did last night, y'all. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this one for the mug, okay? The same pictures. I don't got to write looking for no picture. And this, these colors down here is nice. Man, so I unplugged it. I gotta, I don't gotta reset it and like that. Do I gotta do all that crap again? Okay. Excuse. Me. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna get my mug. Just one second, y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to put my phone down so it won't fall. There you go. Be right back with the mug. Ugh. Get my mugs from Condi. I got my printer right here, and I'm old school, so I plug up my computer every single time I use it because if I don't, my Wi-Fi might go out, and then I'm gonna be mad if my printer goes out while I'm printing something. 
waste the paper, waste everything. And I always use the big piece of paper, the 11 by 17, because I'm gonna worry about going back and forth, switching my um my my printer. So I leave it just like this. And I put 11 by 17 paper in here. And like I said, I'm use oh, let me I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a sub paper this time, just so y'all can see how good it's gonna look. I'm gonna use a sub paper. Instead of using copy paper, I'm gonna use a sub paper. Okay. Y'all want me to do two? Y'all want me to do one with the ASA paper and one with copy paper? I would do that for you. So you can see the difference, because there's no difference. I'm going to let y'all know today, there won't be no difference We're between this, this hammer. So y'all can save your little coins, because ASA paper is off the hook, expensive, like $26 for of, um, ASA. So, since y'all follow me and rock with me, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all two mugs. One mug with a sub paper and one mug with the um regular copy paper. Okay, y'all want to see that? If y'all want to see that, thumbs up. Let me see. Thumbs up. We could do that. We could do that because that's that's interesting to know and to see how it, it comes out in the mug press on the on the Cricut mug press. So now you will see how it rolls, how it works. It's gonna be the same, I think. It's gonna be the same. You know, a sub probably have a little bit more oomph to it, but your customers ain't gonna know that. You can be you can be saving your money, y'all. Saving your money buying that copy paper, which is like eight dollars, compared to buying a sub paper, which is like twenty dollars. Which one you want to do? But I still buy a sub because I like it. I just I just do because I like it to use it on my shirts and stuff. I just do. But you can use the copy paper on shirts. I use this on shirts too. Okay. But let's see. Y'all want to save some money? Let's save some money because I just like spending money. That's just my that's just my, my addiction. I guess I don't know. I still buy a sub even though I know this works. Okay. Let me go ahead and print out two. Let me print out one at a time. I'm gonna be wasting some paper, but I don't care. It's for y'all. Y'all out here support me. I'm gonna go ahead and waste the whole 11 by 17 paper. Print these out. Cause I don't have nothing else I wanna print out. What happened to my dang old image? What happened to the image, y'all? And I've been having problems with my dang old silhouette. Who got silhouette on here? They be just tripping. I don't know. My image just disappeared. What happened to it? <laughs> Um, it be doing crazy stuff. And I don't know what's the problem. I need some help, but I really don't. Oh, there it is. It popped back up, but I don't understand how it disappeared. And sometimes when I make my images bigger, let me show you if it's gonna if it's gonna do it right now. Whoever on silhouette, if anybody gets silhouette, help me out with this, y'all. This is really irritating me. Like for instance, this right here. Why these boxes right here? And then like watch this. When I make it bigger, it's gonna it's gonna do something stupid. Watch. Hold on. I'm using one hand right now, but now I don't want to play with me. Now I don't want to do the wrong thing. But anyway, silhouette been really. I need to learn how to un download it and down and um. She's not doing it now. But anyway, let me measure this cup real quick. And I'm about to show y'all how to save some money. Y'all ain't gotta buy all that expensive um paper. Y'all can buy ca hammer meal. It's called hammer meal paper. Um. I'm sorry, I cannot plug. I cannot lift my um. Put my phone on the tripod because I'm got it plugged in to the charger. And you can't plug, I can't put it up there if it's on the charger. It's so stupid. Like, the charger's on the bottom, so it won't be able to work. I gotta set it up like this. That's why it's, um, it's all lopsided, because I can't put anything on. Oh, okay, it worked. Let me measure my cup. <laughs> I can't put it a dang on thing, because it's not gonna work. Oh, I can put you in a cup or something. Okay. I hate lives, because I can't stay organized like I want to. I mean, I don't hate lives, but it's going to be frustrating. Stay. Okay. So this cup is measuring with the handlebars. It's going to be, I'm going to just say nine and a half wide by three and a half. Nine and a half by three and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and put nine and a half with 9.5. Oh. <laughs> 9.5 with by what the heck did I just say? By mm -mm. three and a half. Okay. Three point five. Okay, there it is. That's a horrible. The height is 3.5. That looks crazy. That page looks 
stored it. And that's the, um, another reason why, like I said, when I do tumblers, I don't ever do a full tumbler. I just do it like, I just probably do it like right here. I never, I mean, I'm sorry, a mug. I never do a full tumbler, a, a new, the whole mug. I just do it like a, the front of it. That's what I do. But now to see how this, this picture looks distorted, it ain't going to work for me. So what I'm going to do is just make it go wider and it's going to come off the page a little bit, which is fine because their body can come off the, off the cup. So it's going to be a little bit too wide. I'm going to have to cut this part off right here. But I just don't like that. It's, it's too distorted. Okay. Okay, that's going to have to work right there. So I'm gonna do this one time with on hammer. This is gonna be on the A sub paper. Yes, I'm using the big paper because I feel like changing all my settings in my computer. So I'm wasting a whole sheet of paper, and I will put some more stuff on there, but I really don't need anything else. I don't feel like doing that nuts anyway. It's just paper, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I got my I got my printer plugged in. Plug my printer the old school way. Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push uh, file print. Set up to make sure everything is set up right because I'll be having so many printers. I'll be using so many printers. Yes, the 7710. Yes, 11 by 17 paper. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and push file again and push print. Make sure when you put your um paper in there, it's upside down. Use the ASAP paper. The ASAP is showing. My hair is pulling. Why is my hair pulling like this? Oh, it's killing me. Okay. Um. So now I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's on um, media quality. I go to layout, make sure it's uh, flip horizontally. When you up, when you heat something, you got to um, heat it horizontally, and then let's go. So like I said, right now we're printing on A-sub, and the next time I'm printing on the regular hammering paper. So y'all can save y'all some money, so I can see the difference. Y'all can see the difference between these two cups. Any questions, y'all? After this cup, I'm leaving. I'm not going to be on live all night. I'm going to do these two cups, which ain't going to take nothing. It's going to take a real short time to do these two. Only thing it's going to take is we got to make sure this dang old printer print out. That's the only problem that's going to take the longest because my internet sucks. Any questions, y'all? Oh, y'all want to see that, do y'all? Probably don't want to see me either, do y'all? <laughs> I'm waiting. My computer been slow lately. I need to check all my internet um, and see why it's so slow. And my son, not even on his computer, and I'm like this. So why is it so slow? The image I'm using now, I just made that up. I, I found the background. I just put best friends. Oh, I put my tongue. I put best friends on the on the t-shirts. I made that myself. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm just waiting for this to go. I was having problems yesterday with this printer, taking all day to print. And it's, it's not the why. I mean, it's plugged into my computer, so I don't know why it's taking so long. Sorry. Y'all go ahead and ask me questions. Why I'm waiting on this? Okay. Somebody said, "Do I like the Cricut mud press?" I would never do it again with a, with a tumbler, honey. Never again. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of stuff. I do have a lot of stuff open. Oh, let me close everything out. Thanks, whoever said that. I got YouTube on. Yeah, because YouTube is slow. Let me, I'm going to close everything out on here. I just won't have YouTube open right now. That's probably what it is. I had a lot of, a lot of stuff open on the internet. I just close everything out and let's see what's gonna happen now. Thank you, honey, whoever told me that. It's working now. <laughs> told you my mind will be all the way there sometimes. It's working. Yeah, I didn't even really think about that for real though. I never thought about having. Well, I had a lot of stuff open. I had YouTube. I had Facebook open. I had apps that I was looking out shopping on and stuff. So I had a lot of apps open. So now I know. I ain't never thought about that. I thought it was the internet, but it's the, the things you have open on the computer. Thanks for teaching me something new.
Nope, I'm not trying no more. Tam Tam. <laughs> I done learned. See, okay, this is how it looks. I'm, I just, it's just too much work. I'm gonna do mugs though. This is how it looks. It's a little bit bigger because it, it looked kind of distorted. But let me cut it out first before I make it, before I print out the other one because I wanna make sure I don't waste more paper. So I'm gonna cut this one out before I print this one. I'm gonna cut that one out first. Just so I can see how it fits on the cup. Now get in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Why are you getting stuck? Okay. It's in there. My hair is pulling. What the heck is going on? Um. Oh, let me put this down again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug this phone. Cause I don't want to fall. I got a little bit of juice. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is cut this out so I can make sure it's not too big to fit on the cup. If it's too big, I'm gonna make it small before I print out on the second page. Y'all feel me? You feel me? Y'all enjoying this live, y'all? Y'all want to see? I'm basically right now, y'all. If y'all just knew, I'm about to, I sublimated on the tumbler. It turned out okay, but I don't like. I mean, I'm not gonna do it again. I just use this foot. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Even though everybody on YouTube got this going on, but they don't got. Excuse me. They don't have um showing y'all how to how it looks between using a sub paper and regular copy paper. They don't have that on here yet. So this will be the first video with that on there. And yes, this is huge. It's too much. So I'm going to um, bring it down like this. It's okay for their bodies to be cut off. It's, just, it's okay. But not as long as it's... I'm going to just see how far... But I couldn't... It didn't look right when I had it so small. It looked distorted when I had it... When I was printing it out. So I had to make it a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to cut down the, the, the thighs off a little bit. Okay? Cut off the thighs off a little bit. And then cut off the top of it a little bit. So see? I'm going to cut off a little bit up here. Cut off a little bit down here. We're gonna be good to go okay so i'm gonna go ahead and while i'm cutting this out i'm gonna go ahead and let the other one print because i'm just gonna cut that one off too i ain't gonna change the size because it's gonna be distorted so i'm gonna go ahead and push um print on this while this print out i'm gonna be cutting this one out if y'all here like my tiktok let me see y'all like my tiktok i got a tiktok my tiktok is while i'm cutting this out go to tiktok and like my page i love tiktok and you can see a lot of videos that i do showing y'all little different sneaks and peeks of my crafting my tiktok is charming gal C H A. R M A I N E Gal G A L. Check out my um Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique Two, all uh, one word. Just check me out. Just go like my page. You ain't gotta buy nothing if you don't want to. But if you like something, go ahead and buy something. But if you don't, if you don't, just go check me out. And just like my page for me. Check, check out my store. I sub. I um. I um. Create. Whatever you, I personalize anything you like the way you want it, okay? From mugs to rugs, from t-shirts to cups to tumblers, anything you like, I, I um personalize it for you. We'll cut a little bit more off from the top. Oh, I'm not even in the camera. Sorry. I should be using my cutter, but I don't feel like getting it, so it's, I'm gonna put this on my Etsy page because it's gonna be the bomb. I already know it's gonna turn out right. I'm supposed to be printing my other one out, y'all. Why y'all tell me? Start printing the other one out so I can get this live over with. Prints. I might do two of these. I'm gonna print two of them just because I don't waste this paper. I'm gonna print two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate it and print it again. Cause why not? So I'm gonna print two on this sheet. Save some paper. File print. I'm using regular copy paper. And we're gonna see the difference. That's what I'm, I'm going to tell y'all. That's what we're doing now. We're going to basically show you, tell y'all how to save some money. But I'm not trying to take no money from nobody else. A lot of people out here got their own paper out, so I'm not trying to take no money. Go ahead and support them businesses. But I'm just gonna show you the difference how it look. Okay, that's all I'm doing. So I'm trying to take nobody bag, nobody money. But I'm just let you know that copy paper do work. If you want to do this for y'all, just to have to give away gifts or whatever you want to spend a lot of money on that on that A sub paper or whatever other paper copy paper people selling. You can use copy paper, but it's on you. It's what you want to do, boo-boo. I'm just showing you that you can use regular paper if you want to. So see how um you still gonna, you still have one that gap. You can't really do the whole cup. But I measured it good, y'all. I got a good measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off around here. I should have taped it and then cut it, Charmaine. Duh. Sometimes I think, sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my tape. And tape it. We don't need no butcher paper for this because you just don't. It won't bleed through. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I 
guess I'm back. Am I back? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> My phone rung, and I'm like talking to y'all. Thought I was still on, so I'm glad I was about to um, hang up and start over. I'm like, no, let me just go ahead and shut my phone off and cut it back on. And it came back. Yay! This phone is some kind of special. Okay, I didn't do anything different. I'm just looking for y'all to come back to me. I'm still waiting for this thing to print. Somebody called my phone. I thought I had them disturb or do not disturb, but I guess I didn't. I guess when you do FaceTime, it don't, it, it don't, whatever. This phone kind of weird. Okay, so um, I'm waiting for the other one to print. My printer is still acting up. It's taking a long time for it to come on. So I'm going to go ahead and just tape the edges around here. I'm not sure if people do this or not, but I'm just going to do it so I keep the, the ghosting down. I'm going to tape around the, the top of the, the cup, okay? I'm glad I came back. I had to start the video over, though. But somebody caught, somebody tried to FaceTime me. So I'm going to just tape around the edges so just to get the, so the um, heat won't go, so the one don't get no air through on the top. Even though I don't do this, when I do my tumblers in the um in my in my um air fryer, I just put this on there, put your paper, and that's it. I don't use tape. I don't do this. So how about I probably just use tape on this one and don't use tape on the other one and see how it works. Okay, we'll see. So we can know the difference, okay? We can still see the difference between the paper too. But I'm gonna do no tape. I'm gonna do tape on this one. This is A sub with the tape. I'm gonna do regular paper without the tape. How about that? How about that? Y'all want to work like that? Yeah, the air fryer. I always say, I always forget to say, I always forget the name of it. Yes, I use the air fryer for um, mugs. And I use a convection oven for my tumblers. If you're new to me, if you're new to this channel, if you want to see about that, I have videos on those, how to use an air fryer for the mugs. And how to use the how you use the convection number for your tumblers to sublimate on. I don't use the um air fryer for the tumblers because it's too the tumblers are too big, of course. That's why I gotta use the convection convection oven because they won't the tumblers won't fit in the air fryer. But of course you don't eat at the air fryer after you finish it, of course. Oh, you haven't did a tumbler or a mug? Check out my videos. I have videos on how to do both. Okay, tumblers and mugs. And now I'm about to show you how to do. I just showed you how to do a tumbler. On this one, but I would never do a tumbler again on this on this machine. Um, people can, I won't, but it's too much work. I'm much rather I'd rather put in the convection oven. Okay, so now I gotta start this thing up again. Hope I just can just push the button and go with it. Oh shoot, I'm about to my chair. Find the chair, y'all. About to see if I can just plug it in, push the button, and hopefully they go. My my hair is pulling. Okay, the button came on. So y'all follow me on TikTok and follow me on Instagram. Instagram is Miss Charming Gal. TikTok is Miss, I mean, TikTok is Charming Gal. And um, my brown, my, my Facebook group is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And my um Etsy page is Charming Gal Boutique. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for this heat press to, I'm waiting for the, the press to warm up. So just wait for it. I'm waiting for that to work. I got everything copied and cut out and everything. I can go ahead and um plug this phone back up so it won't go dead on you. I hear you. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that no more, honey. Follow you on everything. I feel like I oh, No, you, don't, you ain't stalking me. Thank you for following me, though, Rashawn. I appreciate you following me. I appreciate all the love. I just have I just I just have fun doing this, y'all. I just have fun. I love doing this. But y'all had just started. I just did this tumbler. I just did this tumbler in the um cricket easy press. So if y'all missed that, y'all can go back. I mean mug press, I'm sorry. Y'all can go back and check and see what we did. We had some issues with it, but like I said, I would never do it again. But it worked. I do have a little something going on right here. Okay, so it's cute, cute. It's my, it's mine. I got, and I got tumbler for myself. Cause I don't have tumbler for me. I sell them all, and I got one for myself. I don't mind sporting with all these beautiful women on here. Okay, what I was about to do? I'm waiting for this thing to beep. So it's supposed to beep right when it's ready. It's my first time using this thing, and y'all been helping me figure it out. So I appreciate y'all. Uh, let me go on YouTube and um, open back up YouTube so I can see y'all questions. 
I closed everything down because I was having problems with my internet. Hey, thank you for following me on TikTok. I love TikTok. It's so much fun. I'm going on Facebook. I got still got three almost three hundred people watching me, y'all. I hope y'all all subscribe to my channel. Y'all all subscribe to the channel so I can know when I upload new videos. And then I appreciate all the new newcomers, all the new visitors. I'm looking for Facebook. I'm going to go to YouTube. I can see y'all comments. Okay, I'm waiting for it to heat up, y'all. That's what I'm waiting on. It's so, it's so much easier. We have to do is just put this thing in here and let it go. We're just waiting for it to heat up. It's going to be so much easier than this dang old, <laughs> this, this tumbler we just did. But check it out, y'all. Y'all can watch it over after we get done with it. The live, it'll be, it'll be on my page. It'll be on my channel. Just check it out to see how we did that dog on tumbler. It worked. It came out decent. I'm trying to let this stand up while it's charging. My phone is charging. I'm trying to let it stand up. I'll tell you, I hope we can put, I can put it in a cup or something. So it can sit in the cup, but I can't. The cup is too small. I don't want to stand up by itself. I can't flip it. Doggone it. Okay, there we go. Don't move, phone. Don't move. Okay. Let's see. Yes, Mr. Tumblr will be able to watch it. Yes, you will be able to watch it um, after you, after I go ahead and put it on my YouTube. Okay, it's ready. It's going to be an easy, this is going to be easy, y'all. So, why that's still ready, I'm going to go ahead, well, well, I can go ahead and cut it out while it's in here. So, I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to put it in there. It's easy, easy peasy. Even though I never used it before, I already know it's easy peasy the way it look on TV. Now, I don't know if they were saying that this was burning too on the bottom when they did it with the cup. But we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and put it at the bottom so I can show you if it's burning or not, okay? I'm going to take the sticker off first. So some people are saying it burns, so I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way to the bottom of the um, mug press and see if it burns. I shouldn't have did that because it's going to be hard to take off. It's going to probably burn this paper. It will. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there, y'all. Because why would they have this on here if it's going to burn? You know so Why would they do that? So it's, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to show y'all if it's going to burn or not. Okay? So we can see, like, what's, why they do that. Why they make it like this then? Okay, so let me move this like this. Everything is situated. I got tape on there. And now we're going to wait to a beep, okay? We said don't burn. Okay. But somebody was saying it burns the tumblers, though. Somebody said it burns the tumblers. That's why they said raise it up. So now we're going to leave it all the way to the bottom and let it go. And then when it beep, then this, when it beep, then it's going to be ready. We ain't got to worry about doing nothing else to it. That's what I heard. I never did before, but that's what I heard. Okay? So now y'all can see me do the, use the easy press for the, I mean, use the mug press for the first time, y'all. I unboxed it for y'all yesterday. And I told y'all I was coming to do a live today on it. And now I did a tumbler. I'm doing one mug with a sub sublimation paper. And I'm going to do another mug with just plain old copy paper. Hammer mill paper. You can get from Home Depot. You can get from Office Depot or um, Amazon. Cheap paper. Cost under $10, okay? Or you want to go ahead and buy the expensive paper, which is fine. Support people who's, who got their own paper out. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. I'm not trying to take nobody's money. I'm just trying to show y'all it will work on regular copy paper. Just cut this image out. Getting it ready. This is regular copy paper. And I made the image too big because it was distorted. So I'm just cutting it off a little bit so it can fit on my cup. That's all I'm doing. And after this cup, y'all, I'm not going to have me on here all night. Everybody want to tell me to stay on. I'm not staying on this cup, honey. I'm not going to find nothing else to do like I do all the time. My hair is pulling. I ain't going to have no edges in a minute. Jesus, why is it pulling like that? Um, <laughs> don't laugh about my ear. I ain't going to have no edges in a minute. Um, it would be like Kenya. It was like Kenya Morris. ain't got no edges. <laughs> um, what I'm thinking about. What I'm about to say. Every time I get on this live, y'all going to be like, Charmaine, stay and do something else. Hey, first timer, Johnny. Welcome, Johnny. You know you're gonna stay on this. <laughs> stop playing with me, Kimberly. <laughs> y'all already know I be finding something to do, but I gotta stop doing it. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop making me stay on. Y'all making me stay on. So now the button. Let me show y'all real quick. It's basically this is how it's looking. I guess when I get to the last button, it's gonna go. Y'all, somebody need to time that for me. Time it. Well, we can time the next one. I want to see how long it takes. How long it takes to do a um a cup? I just want to know. They said about a minute, but dang, I, I, nobody didn't time it. So I'm gonna time. I'm gonna time the next one, so we can see how long it takes. Okay. Hi, Jenny, first timer. Welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna time the next one. She's talking about you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it take about six minutes. Okay, Marissa. Really? So why was everybody saying do it one minute for the to the for the tumblers? 
I don't understand why they're saying doing one minute. I thought it was only a minute. All of a sudden, everybody did it. It took a minute to do the, <laughs> took a minute to do the tumblers. I mean, to do the mugs. My bad. I'm up here saying wrong thing. Let me go run and get another another mug for this. Okay, we will get another mug for this one. Regular copy paper. I'll be back. Okay, I get my tumblers from condi.com. If you ask for um, Chloe Smith, if you call Dietran, condi.com is the same person. If you call them and ask for Chloe Smith, you can get a discount on your sublimation blanks, okay? I get my tumblers and my mugs there. I get a whole box of these things, and I'll be selling out of these because sublimation is the bomb like that. And I'll, I'll use all of these, these sublimation coated mugs. You got to use sublimation coated mugs to use, sublim to use um, for sublimation. Sublimation ink, sublimation mug, and sublimation paper or copy paper. But you gotta have the ink in this sublimation coated um image. Oh no, it's cracked. Okay, Condi, y'all messing up. Nah. Talk. Do I wanna just use this and just keep this cup? Or do I wanna I might just see I might sell this cup. So I ain't gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. It's cracked. I'm gonna get another one. I might sell this mug because it's gonna still be the bomb with this regular copy paper. Watch and see. I'm telling y'all, game changes. Yeah, it's, now this right here, I can smell it. When I did the tumbler, it wasn't that bad to smell because we only had it for one minute. But now since it's more than one minute, I can smell it now. It stank. It's not bad though, but I can smell it. And it's right here in my face too. I should have put it over there somewhere. But oh yeah, it's strong. It smells like a heat press. Now it smells like a mug press. So now I can tell. Now y'all can understand what y'all saying. But with that tumbler, it wasn't smell like that because only only did it for one minute. But yeah, it's strong, y'all. I need to win. I mean, I'll be alright. I ain't gonna die nothing, but. It's strong. Somebody else said it was strong, but yeah, it wasn't strong with that, that tumbler. So now I see what y'all talking about. Oh, my dog's crying. I don't think they feel too good. My little puppy. Well, he'll be dead. My puppy will be one April. Yeah. I don't know when I'm in the basement. This image, I made this image myself. I made this. I put the background on there, and then I put, got the two ladies on there, and then I wrote best friend. I put put the best friends on there. Why is my dog, my puppy's whining? I got to go check on them. I got to take let them, let them outside real quick after I let the, I put the other mug in. Okay, it stopped, y'all. Okay, it stopped. And it's beeping, telling me to take it out. They said, ooh, look at all this smoke. Jesus. Okay, they said the dope is not hot either. They said that the um, it's just not in the thing. It's not hot. And look at that. Look at that. And it didn't. It didn't get any ink on my stuff. So see, you can use um a sub paper and not have any ink transferred to your stuff. You don't need no butcher paper, okay? So you, you heard it from here. But look at that. You can tell that's good. So see, we definitely need more time for that tumbler. We could have did. I didn't know it took only six minutes. Y'all thought it was only a minute for this. So if I'd have known that, I would have did more on that tumbler at, at once. But on on YouTube, they were saying do it for a minute. So I'm following her because that's what I that's what I that's what I saw. So now I know. Okay? So that you can tell that's gonna look that's gonna be good. It's gonna pop because you can see the, all the colors but on that tumbler we didn't see all that. So now I don't know why people saying everybody say I do a minute. That's what I'm confused about. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this one together. Hold on. Shane! Get the dogs out. Why are they crying? Why are they whining? Okay, my son, he just woke up, okay, from a nap. Like, he gonna be up all night. Like, but he ain't gotta go to school tomorrow, though. But still, like, he just woke up. He was asleep when he got out of school that he went to sleep. I'm like, boy, you gonna be up all night. They on, about to be on spring break next week. I was gonna go to Chicago for the for my keep my son's spring break. But I got too much work to do. I just want to stay home and finish playing around with my images for my my boutique that I'm about to open. My chat my children's boutique. I want to stay home and just do some more applique. I'd rather stay home and work and do craft instead of going out of town 
That's sad. That's sad, y'all. I was going to go to Chicago. I live in Ohio, so I was going to drive. Me and my cousin going to drive where I was away, let the kids go. We're about to go shopping. Just go have fun in Chicago. But I, I told my cousin that I couldn't make, I couldn't go. Because I didn't have nobody to watch my puppies. Hope she ain't watching. But I just didn't want to go because I want to stay home and craft. But I really don't have anybody to watch my puppies, too. My, the lady that watched my puppies, she told me she couldn't do it. But I could have searched a little bit more. But I don't want to go. I mean, I do want to go just to get away. But I really don't want to stay home and craft and do some more stuff for my, my boutique. Is that sad, y'all? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm funny. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some tape around here. Did I say I was going to put tape around here this time? Or I was not going to do it this time? Which I'm going to do? Just to check and see that we need to tape around here. But people have been putting tape around here. I think they still, I think Cricket said put tape around here, didn't they? What should, what should I do, y'all? Put tape around here or no? And see if it's going to work. Did Cricket tell you to um put tape around here? No tape. Okay, let's try without the tape. So y'all can see if it's going to work, okay? Because I'm not sure if Cricket say put tape around here or not. So I'm going to leave it off and just see how it works. No tape. Okay. Okay, cool. That'd be even, that's even easier, y'all. If we don't need tape, oh, yes. I'm going to love doing my, my uh, well, it don't matter because, you know, like I said, when I do it in my air fryer, I just put it in just like this. I use butcher paper, and I wrap it up with this for my, my, my air fryer, and that's it. So you put it in the air fryer, let it go for eight minutes, and it's done. So air fryer versus this is almost the same. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put I don't put I just do it just like this, butcher paper, and then this. So with this one, you don't got to worry about this or a butcher paper. You just put it in there just like this, okay? And the air fryer is cheaper, honey. The air fryer is cheaper than this Cricut. I'm not trying to, I mean, I'm not getting paid with, for Cricut, but the air fryer is cheaper. It's only like, you can get the air fryer for like $60. You can get it for $30 on Marketplace, okay? This thing is almost $200. So I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I got everything done. I mean, all right. Put it in here and let it go. It seems so easy. It's like I'm missing something. So, yep, this is the hammer. She says she just ordered it. Okay, then. Oh, $29 for real? Are they tripping, tripping? They is tripping, y'all. Because I'm telling you, I, on everything, I'm, I'm telling you, before all this pandemic and stuff, hammer and paper was only like, like 50, well, the 8 by 8. The 8 and a half, and eight, the 8 and a half by 8. The 8 and a half by 11. Sorry, slow down, Charmaine. The 8 and a half by 11 was only like, they were under, it had to be under $10, I'm telling y'all. So now she's saying the hammer mill is 29 on Amazon. But that's, she said 11 by 17. But it's almost the same price as um, it's a dang old A sub, ain't it? Let me check Amazon for for A sub. Let me check it real quick. That's ooh, that's high. I thought it was gonna be way cheaper than that. So let me check right now. Let me y'all can watch me. Let me show y'all. Okay, I'm going here and put um, A sub. A sub submission paper, thirteen by nineteen. That's what I got right now. I'm using it. It's right here. It's $32, y'all. Look at this. $32. Look at this. Look at that review. They get a lot. It's, it's the best paper ever, right? 11 by 17, $32. And how many sheets is it? 1110 sheets, okay? For the A sub. So now let's go to um hammer mill. Remember that what I just said is uh, how many sheets it was, how many, how much it was. Now this hammer mill is I think she just said it, but I'm just gonna show y'all on on Thing. A hammer mill, and I want to do 11 by, what is it, 11 by 13? I mean, 11 by 17. Okay, so let's see how that goes. She just showed it to us, but I just want to let y'all see for yourselves. We, we believe you. We believe you. Dang. Hammer mill. Let's see. This is $64, but that's not what we want. That's the 11 by 17. No, that's not what I want. Hold on, let's see. 11 by 17. They ain't got the prices on here. by 17 here goes some for I mean, 24 dollars and it's how many 500 sheets so it's 24 dollars um so uh, and the other one was how much they said was 32 dollars and i don't had a package in it and you don't got to get the you get the, the lowest price one you see this is the one that says premium laser or this premium laser print you don't got to get this one you can get the regular kind let's see if the regular one is cheaper i'm just talking and looking at this while my, my mug is heating up I meant to tell y'all to time it, but I think somebody said it was six minutes anyway. Um, all right, here, this is the one I get. This is the one I get right here. I remember that um, bird on there, but this is eight and a half by 11. See, this is only $14, y'all. So if y'all doing eight and a half by 11, it's $14 for the hammer mill. That's, when I, that's the one I get for the small one. 
But 11 by 17 is $26. But it's still cheaper than A sub, okay? Still cheaper than A sub. $24 for that. But this is laser print. This is laser print. So trying to find the one with the regular print. Regular printer. Is this it? No, that's oh that right here. 11 by 17. 11 by 17. 500 sheets. $14, y'all. Right there. Boom. Copy. Paper. Boom. $14. 11 by 17. Let me show I'm reading this right. 500 sheets. So, girl, if I was you, put the other one back. Because you said it was $27. Put it back. Get this one. <laughs> It'll work. I'm telling you. Because the other one was laser. Laser paper. It said right here, laser. Laser printer. You don't want that one. Okay? I'm going to say that's kind of expensive. And then you can also use 13 by 19. But I don't think... Let me see if Hammer Mill go by 13 by 19. I know A sub do 13 by 19. Because if you got bigger prints, like you're doing big, like two, 2X shirts and stuff like that, you can get an A sub is 13 by 19. Let's see. Hammer Mill got 13 by 19 too, I think. I think I bought some of this before. 13 by 19. Yep. 29 is $30. This is premium though. Let's see if we can find something cheaper. 15 right here. No, this is 11 by 17. This, so it might be, that's the only one they probably have. Let's see, 11 by 17. Somebody said, why are we looking at paper? We're looking at paper because we, I was just saying how sublimation, A sub paper is more expensive than getting a regular copy paper. You can use hammer mill for sublimation, okay? I've been trying, I've been using it for, for a long time now. So yeah, the, the cheapest 13 by 19 will be 20 by $30. For hammer meal right okay okay so y'all see i'm telling y'all how to say that money okay well but i'll say something else too i forgot about to say something to y'all something else i was gonna say on the tip of my tongue oh if y'all want to if you want to print big y'all know y'all can go to silhouette silhouette um studio for free silhouette is free you don't have to have a cameo to use silhouette studio so to print big, you can use Cricut to print big if you want to do shirts and stuff, do big images for your shirts and stuff. You can go ahead and use Silhouette Cameo for free, but I pay for it because I'm extra like that and I use the business, business edition. Silhouette is the bomb, but you can also use um, WordPerfect to print out. You can also use WordPerfect to print big. Oh, I said it right. And Sasha from Craft and Bestie, she taught me how to um, print, how to craft or how to design in WordPerfect. I didn't, I used to write, I write books. I'm an author. I wrote like 15 books. Check me out on Amazon. I write books on Word Perfect. I did papers when I was in college on, on Word Perfect, but I never knew I can design in Word Perfect. So check her out. Go to Craft and Bessie's sublimation paper. I think that's the name of her group, Craft and Bessie's. And she have lives on her Facebook group letting you know how to create in design space. The bomb. Never would have known what I could do it, but I, she taught me now I know how to do it. Okay, I just beeped y'all. We're gonna reveal both cups. See how smoky it is? It's not hot. You don't need to, you don't need no um, look at that. Look at that. Uh-oh. This kind of faded at the bottom right here, though. This kind of faded right here. Why is it why is that? Because you know why? We didn't use tape. Let me just see. It don't look like it's too um. Oh, it's hot though. Shit. <laughs> this one looked like the the ink went went through much more because it is a sub. But if I probably should have used tape on here, y'all. If I use tape on here. It probably will work, but let's we're gonna check and see. We're gonna check and see if it's gonna work. If it's gonna, if it went through, but I think it's because the heat, the air went through. I mean, it got some air in it or something. Oh, I'm sorry, let me switch y'all over. Okay, let's do it. I just burned myself. <laughs> Only reason I burned myself because the, the cup hit my hand, but this is not hot. It's not hot. I'm gonna use the one that we are, that we, I'm gonna use to do the A sub one first because that one cooled off by now. It's still hot, but I'm still using it. So, what was I saying? Oh, about Crest, um, Sasha, Crest, Crest and Besties. She's the bomb. I, she taught me from her lives on her channel. She do lives on her um, Facebook group to show you how to um, design in Microsoft Word. So check her out. I was like, what? She, I mean, she tell you every, she show you everything. Yeah, y'all see me smiling? Y'all see me smiling? I already knew it was going to be the bomb. I already knew it was going to be the bomb, though. Because why wouldn't it be the bomb? It's cricket. They're going to make it be the bomb. They're going to make it work. So I knew it was going to be the bomb. But I just wanted to show y'all so I can switch. I can do this with y'all together for my first time. But like I said, I'm be, I've been using my um my um I, my air fryer. But now I bet you I'm about to just start using this because it's just cute and it's just I don't gotta worry about. I gotta put my air fryer in my laundry room because I got heat press heat press conviction of it. Girl, if I put it if I put that uh heat press if I put that air fryer here, all my fuses is gonna blow. <laughs> so I have to put it in there with my washing machine and dryer on a little uh tray a little serving tray over there it's next to my washing machine dryer so i can't turn the washer on though when i'm doing that 
Got all this electricity up in here, girl. I better be careful when I got all this stuff. I got two heat presses, a conviction oven. I got uh <laughs> three embroidery machines, but that ain't gonna that ain't gonna cost nothing. Oh, let me shut up and show y'all. Let me shut up and show y'all. Let me shut up and show y'all. What? I already knew it was gonna be the bomb though. This is A sub. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna compare A sub with um girl, look at this. I'm about this. Oh, this is cute. Put this on my website real quick. Ain't it cute? That's the bomb.com. And I like the way how one girl's on one side and the other girl's on the other side. So it really measured out. The, it really did a good, I mean, I designed this well. But I use, I mean, I do the same way with this. I usually do this image with the tumbler. I never put this on the image on the um, cup because, like I said, when I do my mug, I don't do the whole mug. I never do the whole mug. But now I got the mug press, I'm going to do the whole mug. I just usually do the um the front of the mug. Like right here, this part right here be the only part I do. If you see all my mugs, this is the only part to be done with this. And it be white background. Because I really don't like how this gap is right here. I just thought it looked kind of corny with this not being done. But now, I'm going to go ahead and start doing it like this. But usually, all my mugs that I did, they just be right here. The picture be from right here to right here. That's it. And the back would be blank or less. I have my, if you look on my website, you will see. And I have people, they can personalize and put their name on the back of it. I put their name on the back of it for them. But it just be this part right here. It'll be the whole mug. So this is my first time doing a full mug, y'all. Can y'all believe that? My first time doing a full mug. Okay? First time. I always do it just the front. I just don't like the way that look, but... When you go in the stores, that's how other people's mugs are too. But I just, my mind be just, I just be so self-conscious about the silliest, the silliest things. But see, okay, so that's the Cricut Mug Press with a sub paper with tape. Let's see how it looks with the hammer mill, the regular paper with no tape. I'm kind of thinking it's not going to be, it might work though. I'm thinking it's not going to be too dark down here. But we're about to see. Let's see. Oh, well, I lied to myself. It just didn't look that dark. Who gonna still get a sub? Who gonna still buy a sub after this uh video? I am though, cause I did. That's just me being extra. But wait, wait till I show you this dog on mug. Oh, why is the why is the paper sticking to the? Oh, it's not sticking. I don't want to show y'all until I get all the paper off of it though. Let me get my head out the way. That's a dog on shame. Everybody spent all that dang on money on that paper. I knew this though. I got a, I got a video already showing you that this is what happens. You can use regular paper. I got a video. I done knew this a long. I knew this a long time ago. But like I said, I still use a sub because I just got the feeling that it's gonna pop a little bit better on the shirts and stuff. I just got that feeling, but it doesn't. Really, it doesn't. Cause I use I use a sub on my. I think I did a video on a sub on my on on, on shirts too. Look at this. Let me just see for my. Let me see. Ah, oh, shoot. It's hot. It's hot, hot. Let me get both the faces the same, girl. Man, gone. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I'm put my other glove on. Look at this. Can you tell? Can you tell? I don't even know which one I use a sub on. Can you tell? Can you tell which one I use a sub on? See, a little, like this right here, the pigment, her face, her skin tone. I told you the skin tone a little bit. Sometimes it, it, this is a little bit darker. But no, your uh, customer would not know that, okay? The skin tone popped just a little bit. But you can't even tell. If you didn't, if you didn't compare it, you wouldn't have known. So I told you that before in the video like yesterday, the skin tone popped a little bit with A-Sub. But you wouldn't have known that. If you wouldn't have compared it, you wouldn't have known that. It still looked good. And both skin tones look good. Okay? So you wouldn't have never, you can't tell. You can't tell. But I, I knew before, like I said, the skin tone would be a little bit darker. This is A-Sub. Yep, remember? Because I peeled the sticker off. So I told you. This, and I wouldn't even know. But I know this is A-Sub because the skin tone. Remember I tried to take the sticker off of it first? This is A-Sub and this is the copy paper. The skin tone is a little bit darker. That's it. You can't even tell. Only way you can tell is if you put them close together. What I tell you? Now you done... Right, we all read. I'm saying that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the difference. You, I mean, everybody, like she said, everybody got skin tone. I'm just saying you could tell from the the complex. I mean, the skin tone, or that's why. That's how I noticed it when I first did the first video. I knew from the skin tone it was different. But like I said, you ain't gonna never notice that. I'm just trying to show you the difference. That's it. 
it pops just a little bit for um Asa, but girl, please. Who else who gonna buy um who's gonna still gonna buy Asa paper? Or who going to the hammer hammer mill, hammer mill paper? Go ahead and um like thumbs up on this video, please. Thumbs up on this video. If you haven't thumbs up on this video, if you see I'm trying to save y'all some money. It's videos on YouTube that show you this too. But like I said, I did the video before to show you this. Because I was like, when I see I'm like, what? Why am I spending all this money? But I still buy a sub. I still buy a sub. I ain't going to lie to you. But girl, I did three cups today for y'all. I did one mug and I did two cups. Let me see the hearts. Let me see your hearts. Regular copy paper, y'all. Regular copy paper. Hammer, hammer meal. But like I said, y'all can try other, other paper. But I'm just stuck with hammer meal because I know... Hammer meal works, but everybody you probably get any color paper in it work. Any color paper, any copy paper in it work. Yeah, but if you late, I did this with Asa paper, and I did this with regular copy paper, hammer meal, and they, I put them both in the um the, um Cricut mug press for the same amount of time they need to be in there. Took them out and look at this. This one with no tape, and it still came out right. So now I know that I don't have to put no tape on there when I use the heat when I use the even though y'all told me not to use it, I know y'all told me not to, so that's fine. So now I know just put this thing in here with paper, tape it closed, and put it in the in the press. That's all you need. You don't need to put tape up here or nothing like that. Just put it in. That's all you need to do. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely be using this for my mugs. But I would not be doing more tumblers in that baby though. Let me show y'all my tumbler I did. This was in the heat press. You had to flip it because it's too tall, so you had to flip it, put it on. I'm thinking two minutes would be good if you do it again. But it still came out good, y'all. I, I always get this wrong. I didn't have it close enough or whatever. That, that's not, but it's cool. I'm going to use it for myself because I love these. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this, I love this image. Sorry. Got me stuttering, y'all. I love this image. So I'm going to do this for my, keep this for myself. I don't never make myself nothing. I make myself t-shirts. But I really don't make tumblers because I'd be like, I want to sell them. <laughs> but I'm going to keep this for myself since I messed up on it. And I don't drink coffee. So I'm definitely putting these on my website. Both of them. Well, I'm just put one of them, then I'm gonna sell both of them. You know what I'm saying? Hammer Mill inkjet paper Amazon for like under about fifteen dollars for the eleven by seventeen, and like eight dollars for the eight and a half by eleven or thirteen by nineteen. Cheap, cheap compared to Amazon, compared to Asa. Okay. Okay, y'all tired of looking at it? I don't know. To make sure y'all see it. Everybody that's coming in, I'm gonna make sure y'all see it. All right, y'all. Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome for getting that little price cut. Y'all go to Amazon and get y'all y'all cheap paper. So whoever been sublimating, go ahead and go to Amazon and get that paper. The hammer mill paper. Save y'all a little money. Save y'all coins. It's 10. Oh, I'm doing good. It's only 10.45. So I'm going to get off this live. I got enough time to, um, I already ate. So I might go ahead and give me like a little dessert or something. I'm going to do some more applique. I got 360 people on here because some people already been following me and I already showed y'all this stuff. But if y'all want to see the applique that I've done and the patches, the embroidery patches that I've made, let me see the hearts. Cause I know y'all, everybody else that's been following me, they tired of it cause they already seen it. So they probably, they probably leave me or they probably stay on it cause they just love me like that. But if y'all haven't seen that stuff, let me see the hearts and I can show y'all again, but I'm not going to be doing any other projects on this video cause I don't want to be on here too much longer, but I can show y'all what I've done. And I can talk to you, ask y'all questions. Oh, look at them hearts. Y'all got me like, y'all know I want to show y'all anyway. Y'all know y'all want me. <laughs> look, <yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm crazy. Y'all know, know I want to show y'all because I love what I do. I love what I do. So, okay. So, y'all want to see, I'm going to go get it for y'all. Hold on, I'll be back. Let me turn this thing on press off because it stank. I'm going to unplug it. Make sure you unplug it when you're done with stuff like this. Heat presses and stuff, crickets. It's going to burn your house down. But don't unplug those doggone printers. Don't unplug them printers because they they won't. They got to do all kinds of stuff to get it back on. Oh, my hair is pulling. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. So I can show you my goodies that I've been make working on for my baby. For my um my I'm about to launch a boutique coming up. 
this this month coming up, so I'm getting. I've been working my butt off. That's why I want to go to Chicago this weekend because I want to be at home just working and getting everything together, getting all my samples together. If y'all don't know, I'm in, I embroider. I have three embroidery machines. I have the PE six hundred and twenty five. I got no. I got the SE six twenty five. I got the um, PE eight hundred, and I got the um, Innovus NQ sixteen E. And then I'm waiting on my six needle. All three of them right here, they're all single needles, okay? The things I'm about to show y'all right now, that's the E7, that's E625, PE800, and this is the NQ1600, and this is my sewing machine. And I'm getting my, got my mighty hoops right there because I'm ready for my six needle to come. I'm getting the Brother, I wrote it on the, I wrote it right there on the sticky note, the name of the machine, because I will forget. It's the Brother PR670E. <laughs> you see everything I got? I got my um, heat press right there. I had to write down what size it is. I forget. Look. What size is y'all? It's the 16, let me see, what is it? 16 by 24. That only went 15 by 15 because if I didn't write it down, I wouldn't know because I got so much stuff in this machine, in this room. And this is my big boy. This is the SE570. It, uh, it's a sub sublimation printer. And it prints 25, 24 inches wide. I got two machines that I converted into um, sublimation printers. You can convert both of these. This is the Epson, Epson 7710. F7720. I got my maker. I'm sorry, I just zoomed in. Let me zoom back out. I got my maker and my easy press. Hey, hold on. Maker Air 2 Cameo. I got my my joy back there. I got a lemon air machine back there. I got a cinch up there. And I got a whole lot of stuff in here. I did a uh I did a live yesterday, so y'all can see my live yesterday. What else I say? I got I got the easy presses under there. I got all three up and I got the darn arm. <laughs> So I got everything, everything y'all name it, and everything y'all see in my room, I just showed y'all, I got videos on everything, on how to use everything y'all just saw. Okay, but lately I've been working on this. My baby boutique. I'm about to make, I made bowls for the first time. Yeah, I use my joy a lot. I had, like I said, I was just talking about that earlier, I used my joy when I was, my, my daughter used it a lot because, um, well, I got the joy just for car cards, for real. I bought the joy because I was like, oh, it's cute. It's so cute. I can make cards. So I used it. I made a lot of cards with the joy. But then I had a kiosk in the mall. I mean, the reason why I got the... Let me slow down. The reason why I got the joy because I wanted to make cards. And they had like a little card mat or whatever. And it's so much easier to make cards with the joy instead of using the big mat for the regular machine. So that's the reason why, that's the reason why I got the joy. And But then I had a kiosk in the mall. See, I like, it ain't just cute, y'all. So what I'm going to do is this is all faux leather. So I got this faux leather, right? And I'm going to put this faux leather on an applique on a shirt for a kid. So I'm going to show you how the applique look in a minute. I'm going to leave this one out so I can see how I can match that up with the um with the shirt. Matter of fact, I got some that I already made shirts for. So that's what I've been doing now. Making bows and shirts to match. I want to learn how to make tutus. People keep on saying that they are they hard, they're easy to make. Some people say they it's going to be hard. But I want to make... I wanna, but right now, I'm going to Hobby Lobby or whatever and, buy, and trying to find some um vendors that I can buy... The, the tutus from so i don't gotta worry about making them because i just got too much other stuff going on going on purple is my favorite color okay tanisha i like the purple hearts this is awful this is awful leather and i just started doing i just started making bows the other day and i just can't stop they're addictive so easy to make i think i did did i do a live on how to do a bow did i do a live y'all did i do a live i think i did oh, i did a tiktok video i did a tiktok video on how to do a bow just get the um I got my um template from Amazon from from Etsy. My template, my bow template from Etsy. And go for go for that. Go for, go with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show y'all the shirts that I made with the applique. If y'all know about applique, applique is when you basically embroider on a machine with fabric, okay? So it's not just thread. And embroidery is so much it's so easy. You just push a button. I mean it's steps to go with it, but you push a button and you just print, you just you don't gotta use the sewing machine. You don't gotta learn how to sew to embroider, okay? Somebody say yes, they do. I need to know how to sew. No, you don't. This is fabric right here. And this is this, this is off um, a thread. This is fabric in here too. This is a boy shirt. And what I did was, instead of wasting the shirt, I used fabric. A, a stretchy knit fabric. Fold it up like a shirt. And I'm going to take pictures of it. And nice little light and stuff. And it's going to be my sample for my website. Don't have to waste no shirt. Because I'm not, Elijah might not want to buy this shirt. So this is a sample. I'm wasting fabric, yes. But fabric is cheaper than buying a shirt okay this is all fabric look at this and she's so cute y'all love showing this stuff even though i showed y'all this stuff the last three videos i made and i know people getting hope y'all ain't get tired the ones that's been following me they're probably like girl i want to see this again 
But I don't mind showing y'all. I love it. So I just don't hope y'all get tired, y'all. The ones that already saw this. Because I done did like five lives for the last two for the last week. This is embroidery, y'all. This is called applique. When you when you put fabric with the thread. Fabric with the thread. And I just use the um fabric. I just use fabric. I mean fabric with the what I meant to say? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm using um, fabric instead of t-shirts. I'm using fabric for my samples. I love it, y'all. Can you see how addictive this can get? And every time I show this on my live, people are like, I'm about to go get the embroidery machines. Back in the day, before the COVID, the, the embroidery machines were cheap. Now they're expensive because everybody's trying to get their own their business going. The best, the one to start off, it's just mermaid cute. So look at this, y'all. Look at this. Bam. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> my son said I'm corny. But yeah, I made this bow to match her little. This is faux leather. This is faux leather. Okay? And I match it. Let's see. This is going to be a little set. And I got to get a tutu to go with it. And she's going to be rocking it. Okay? All these designs you see, I got from Etsy. Everything from Etsy, y'all. All these designs. Just look up Mermaid. Shane. Ain't he cute? This is all fabric right here. Y'all see that through the plastic? Yeah, I got um, I got a video on how to do the bow. The bow is not hard at all. It's not just cut out the template, trace around the template, cut it out, and put it on there. Did I even did I do a live on the bow? Somebody let me know if I did a live on the bow. I think I did show you how to do a bow. Did I? You're be doing so much stuff I forget. But I can show, I can do a live, but not tonight. Cause um, even though bows are really simple to do, I just don't wanna put all this on this video. I wanna make a separate video for the bows. I got too much stuff going on. I done showed y'all, did a tumbler, a mug, two mugs. So this is enough for this video. But I'll do a, I'll do a um, bow cause bows are simple. But check out my TikTok page, you'll be able to see it. This is all, this is fabric, fabric, and then this is thread. PE 800 is the best to start off with because if you don't wanna, um, if, you, if you don't like it, you can, you can just, you know, be cool with the three eight hundred, but the re I got the reason why I got this. I got the um P E P. No, I got the S E six twenty five to start off with because that's a the sewing machine slash embroidery machine, and I want to learn how to sew too, right? So, so let me go ahead and get this one so I can be able to embroider and sew. So now I said that's only a four by four hoop, so that's really small. You only could do really you only could do patches with that. So I wouldn't I wouldn't start off with the doing the four by four hoop. That's just too small. I mean that's me. I wouldn't do it. But I keep it because I'm going to use it for a sewing machine. But now I do a lot of patches, so I have all my machines running at the same time. This is all thread. This is no, this is no fabric. This is all thread. I, as you said, you, I told you to get the PE, but you want to do applique? Um, I got a video on how to do applique. I got a video live. That's all thread, too. I got this, I got this um, bag from... Um, from um hobby from uh what is it called Michaels for when it was on sale at the Black History Month. I got a couple of them. Got them on sale. I'm gonna make some more. These pickable it needs to be a cute little bag for a little girl, like a like a nine year old or a ten year old. Like an overnight bag. That's cute. I'm gonna put all this stuff on my site. But this just don't go with the with the site. But that's when to show y'all. I can do also do puff puff letter puff um embroidery. It's puff embroidery. You could also do hats on a single needle. I read they would do a, a hat on a single needle than the other, other one because it's so easy to do a hat. And I do not have a hat hoop, okay? I do not have a hat hoop. I do this on a single needle. Check out my Etsy page. You'll see all this stuff on my Etsy page as far as hats and everything I embroider. I didn't embroider sweatshirts, hoodies, jean jackets. I didn't, order, um, I didn't embroider, um, I didn't embroider a blanket. I didn't embroider a lot of stuff on my on my one needle machine. So if you say, and I can't afford to get no six needle machine, get that one needle machine. Get a PA hundred and start off and do it and do this. Okay. Um, check out my Etsy page so you can just see what I've done. If you like what if you like what you see, I'm not asking you to buy anything, but you can if you want to. But just like my page if you see anything that you like that I've that I've done on that Etsy page. It's Charming Gal Boutique number two, all one word, and number two is a number is a number. So Charming Gal Boutique two. Do you do what you said? Do you craft for what you mean? I haven't did the the puff vinyl, but I have done the embroidery puff. That was embroidery puff right there. 
I was trying to show y'all some of the things. Some, some, some of these bowls did match those mermaids. I was trying to show y'all. I forgot to show y'all. But my next one is going to be using this on a shirt. So that's my goal. I'm going to do that tonight. And I'm going to show y'all. Most of the puff, most of the um, fold letter come from Hobby Lobby. Get it while it's on sale. This came from Hobby Lobby. I got like 100 something rolls of this stuff, y'all. Because I can just use it on shirts, on applique, and use it on bowls. Okay? But I also get stuff from Amazon, too. I got a whole lot of stuff from Amazon. And they all sit right here because I'm about to start using them because I want to start finishing doing the applique because it's never too, never have enough stuff on your website, okay? I'm about to open up, so I'm about to make sure I have everything I have so when somebody going there, they're going to buy something. But this is all faux leather from Amazon. Most of this is like um, mermaids. Okay. But this is all Amazon. It's got this Amazon. Then I got some of this glitter. Y'all, why can I still smell this heat press? I can still hear, smell the heat press and it's unplugged. It takes a while to come out. It's not that strong though, but I can still smell it. I can smell like it's burning rubber. I'm sure nothing ain't touching it. This is all glitter. I still got 300 people on this live, y'all. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with me. Thumbs up if you didn't thumbs up this video yet. Thumbs up this video. Oh, I love this purple though. All this came from Amazon. It's all different glitter. Okay. So that's all. I'm, I'm going to show y'all my patches real quick. And I'm about to be off just live. So y'all can go to bed. Well, that's all called faux leather. I love you too. It's called faux leather. I did. Y'all see me do this yesterday. I did three patches like this yesterday on live. Okay. Let me put some of this stuff away. I can't see what y'all saying. Hold on. Let me go on the, back on the computer and see what y'all saying. I'm going to show you the back of the bowl. That's how the back of the bowl looks. I'm going to do some headbands too. Um, I got some of this to, do, to use too. I'm going to use these and put the bowls on here and, and it can be headband, headbands. This is from um, Hobby Lobby also. I'm going to use those for some headbands. Man, I'm going to have so much stuff on my site. <laughs> I just love doing it. I love doing it. I love what I do. If you can't tell. Let me go to YouTube. See if y'all saying. I can't even see what y'all saying. What questions y'all asking me because my phone be going so fast. Okay. I'm tired. Watching her. And I got a 100%. Lord. What? What that mean? What's that called, girl? You tired of watching me? It's a good live clock for us to watch. Thank you. She said she ordered that she speak. <laughs> we speak. See, I'm just like y'all spending y'all money. 25 mugs for Mother's Day. Ooh, that's good, girl. Get your money. Oh, I'm so scary. I thought it was a net in here, but it was my mouse arrow moving because I just moved around. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a net in here. I do not like bugs, y'all. I would go crazy if I see a spider or a bug. And this, I just moved my mouse of my computer my ear will move. I thought it was a net flying around. <laughs> like, no. Oh, okay. I'll say, girl, you tired of me? She said, no, she thinks she's just tired, um, but she still want to watch. Um, what I about to say? I'm sorry, I talk fast. She said, you talk fast. Your wine is chilling in the freezer. I'm almost done with mine. You see, my, you can see how my eyes getting low. Okay, what was I about to do? Oh, show y'all my patches. I just put them away. I can still smell that heat press. It's called faux leather. F-A-U-X leather. How did you make the bows? Um, it's so easy. Let me show y'all. Uh, let me show y'all real quick. Hey, y'all always want me to do something. I'm saying everybody be like, Charmaine, you ain't getting off the line. That's why I'm, I'm laughing. Y'all don't know if y'all ain't been following me. Y'all don't know what I'm going through right now. Cause everybody going. Every time I say I'm getting off, I'll never get off. What's up, son? Yeah, I know you just woke up. You could be up all night. See, this is a template. I got it from Amazon. It's a piece of the. It's three pieces to the to the bow. This is the bow I use. It's many different templates, but this is a template that I like. It looks good to me. So, um, this is the first part of the bow, the second part of the bow, and the third part of the bow. I could just. I'm gonna use cardboard. I'm gonna basically cut it on cardboard, but I just been lazy, so I just use the paper. So I, I cut it out. Here's a piece right here. It's not. It's not gonna look right together. But I'm just showing you these pieces don't look right together. So I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look if you did do it like this. Oh, I'm missing a piece. 
I don't have one that's already cut. But if I had, I'm only piece I'm missing is this piece right here. So this is how you go, how it goes. You do this first. You basically take the hot glue, you glue it right here and right here, okay? And it'd be like this after you glue it. Hold on. This is how it's gonna be after you glue it, right? Then, then you, then you take this piece and you put it in front of this piece, okay? Then you glue it like this, like this, and it looks like this. But it just don't look good because the colors are clashing, right? But you and you know that this one can be a plain color piece. This one right here gonna be your your main piece with your main. Let me show you. This piece is gonna be the pattern. I always go like this. Number one is the pattern. Number two is gonna be plain. And then the number three behind is gonna be glitter. That's how I do it. You can do it how you wanna do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. So pattern, plain, and then glitter in the back, okay? So see how I did that? And then this right here, the glitter part goes to the back. You just glue it right here on the back. And bam, you got yourself a bow. How easy. <laughs> and then of course you got this little piece right here. I, I forgot to show you this piece. This piece you gotta cut off on that little thing. You cut off this piece. Yeah, wrap it around, just like so. Bam, you glue it. You put your little thing on the back of it. Uh, ah! <laughs> I just spilled my whole bag. You get one of these things. I'm sorry, I screamed in your ear. I'm sorry. I'm so dramatic. Then you glue on the back. Bam, you got you a bow. Booyah. How easy was that? See, I didn't even do it for real, but I did it for real. I'm kind of corny sometimes. And it comes out with a bow like this. how it looks hey 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 did that help anybody that just spilled all my little thingies see how easy it is y'all so easy and i was i was scared to do that but i was trying to find a boat that i had to use i didn't have to use um i had to use thread i didn't want to use a sewing machine or a sewing whatever so let me find a bow and i've been knowing about these bows but i was just scared to try it man how easy is that how easy is that so just and I like using if people use their cricket machines, I just cut with scissors. I mean you can use your cricket machine, but I like to use scissors because it's so easy. So y'all talking about embroidery. Y'all don't care about these bowls. Y'all talking about embroidery. What do you use to cut? Scissors? Yes, I help. Yes, it helped me. Well, I'm glad it helped you. Okay, yes, it helped. Okay, thank you, Christy. I'm glad it helped you. Yeah. You can purchase the purchase. I mean, if you want to know the exact sizes, yes, it's templates. It's templates on um Etsy. Just say bow templates. And some people, if you can look on YouTube, sometimes people got free templates on YouTube. Okay, but I paid two dollars for this template. And um, here I'm gonna show you how it looks after I pick up on my mess. This is how the template looks when you before you um cut it out on the paper. Just eight by ten. I cut it out on silhouette because you can't cut it out on Cricut because it's too small. If you're not using um, so this is how it looks on the paper. Okay, this is the template right here. You just cut them out, and I just use it like that. But I'm going to put this on um, cardboard next time. So these three templates, and I just cut them out. This is just a, a extra, an extra one I had. Okay, so I put my bows in here when I'm not when I'm doing with it. Just cut a whole lot of different colors. All that fold that you saw, I just cut them up, and then I find something to match it up, make it look good, and I go from there. And I start matching them up with my little bow, and my little shirts for the base, for the, for the, for the girls. And I get these from Amazon too. I got a whole, you know what I got? It's like they have a bow kit. They got bow kits on Amazon. So you can get this, a whole bag of these, and then some faux leather. And it's called, looking for a hair bow kit. You want to start off doing that? Just get a hair bow kit. Yeah, they, the, yeah, the, um, she's talking, everybody wants to talk about embroidery. Um, the embroidery machines are high. And I use this too. I use a little clothespin. So when I'm gluing stuff, just so it can stay dry, I click on here. On the bowl so it can just keep together while I'm gluing it together. Like right here, I pinch it on here so it can just keep it stuck. The glue can dry. See, so I will not sell these. These are all samples. So I can be able to have them on pen with somebody ordering one. And I just have to make sure you have enough fold leather to, so you can be able to make them bowls over again. Okay, I'm cleaning my mess up. Thank you for showing us all what you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I love showing people. Um, yes, the, when I bought the embroidery machine, when I bought the PA 100, it was like 600 or 400 dollars. Or it was between 400 and 600 dollars. Now they like really they like a thousand dollars now, 1300 dollars for the PA 100. They're expensive because everybody, you know, embroidering, sewing, and stuff, especially when it was when that pandemic was going, there was no sewing machines out, but they were selling out because everybody was trying to make their masks and stuff. So, yeah, they went sky high on everything, everything is sky high. So, um, yeah, 
But I'm getting my six needle coming in. I already paid for it, so it better hurry up. It's been a month. I've been waiting for a month. Should have been here by the end of this month, and the month is over. The month tomorrow, the first, ain't it? Yes, it is. I'm I'm mad now that I know tomorrow the first. <laughs> this one I was gonna be. It's gonna be here before the first. I'm about to cry when I get when I get in the car. I'm gonna cry. You gonna cry when you get in the car? What's that movie from? This is um applique. This is fabric. Still is in the house. Who still is in the house? Hey, first timer. Oh, you just got here, Shauna? <laughs> Well, I gotta be crazy. She said, "You know about crazy, but was on here. I gotta do him. I gotta do um. I gotta do two patches with him this um this weekend before the weekend. Over, I gotta do him, Kobe. Somebody bought somebody um or that. So I gotta keep this out so I can remember. I gotta do two of him. Hey, sorry about your deaths in your family, but welcome. Sorry to hear that." All this is um patches I make. If you want to see my patches, check out my Etsy page. Charming Gal Boutique 2. All one word with number with a number two at the end. Charming Gal Boutique. These are for the sororities, the red and white, the blue and white. Oh, really? Cool. Her cousin is number 95 on Pittsburgh Steelers. Everybody let a Pittsburgh Steelers down here where I'm at. She's beautiful. At the idea of her, I had to get my hair done like this. She motivated to get my hair done like this. These are so cute. These are, these are dreads, though. This is just, I don't know, what locks or whatever, yeah. But I had to get my hair done like this. This is, she is, the, I just love her. I just love her. So, you know, you can get, um, she said my my embroidery videos made her buy the, um, Anobis, uh, 1600. How do you like it? Now she wanted 1600. Now she wanted six needle, 16 needle. What? You got 16 needle? Ooh, that's a lot of needles. I can't, I can't, I wish I could be like you. That thing gotta be expensive. Hey, okay, thanks, Miss Parker. Thanks, Miss Parker. Yes, I love Etsy. Somebody said they think about making an Etsy page. I love Etsy. I wasn't, I was gonna go to Spotify and make my children boutique, um, page but i was like no i'm gonna go ahead and stay with fc because i'm familiar with sc and she's to take care of my taxes at the end of the year i love xc but i mean and i get followers like i have my own website and nobody really want to follow because they didn't know who i was but if you go on etsy people gonna follow you they're gonna find you on etsy because they just search for what they want and then you come up if you, if you got it you'll come up so i love etsy i sell a lot on etsy i've only been doing etsy for like the last about, about a year been about a year check my etsy page out and just 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 like my page for me if you'd like to see the stuff you see i personalize anything you want She cute too. This is FK. I'll be working, y'all. I told y'all I don't sleep. I love doing what I do though. I love it. This stuff I, I I've done did. I mean when I start one thing, I've done did it. I start one thing and I don't stop until I until I find something else to do. Like I be I was doing patches, 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 and now I'm doing applique. And then I'm doing bowls. I start something and I can't I just keep on going until I get tired and I figure something else to do. All this on one needle. All this on one needle machines. Yes, honey. Yes. And I don't know how to sew. I mean, I didn't know how to sew when I first... I, like I said, the only thing I know how to sew now is a pillow case. Um, I did a blanket. Shay! Hold on, I'm sorry for screaming. Shay! I'm going to bring this blanket down here because I'll be asking about this blanket. I'll show y'all the blanket that I made for him. I am so, so scared, y'all. They're like, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Go ahead and do it. So I did it, y'all. And this, I did pretty good. So I'm going to show y'all tonight because I've been asking me for it. So hope y'all, who been asking me for my blanket, hope y'all on here. This is applique too. He, he can't hear me. I don't want to be screaming in y'all ear. So I was in, I did patches. I was in love with patches. And now, um, I just went to the site today. I've been researching a lot for, so I can see more better, better material to use for patches. So, 
I was on. I was talking to a couple companies today, so I found some stuff. It's coming in the mail soon, so I'm gonna check those out and do my patches and let you know. I let you know if it work. I try new stuff so I can show y'all, and if it work, I let you know. It's better. It's better at backing for patches and stuff. Cause I want my stuff to be, be good quality stuff. You know, right now I'm using heat and bond. It's hard to find how to really make patches on YouTube. They're not trying to tell you, but I've been researching. I've been getting it out. I've been researching. So I found a company today on YouTube searching, searching, searching. I found something. So I'm going to go ahead and check them out. They're going to ship me some stuff to let me test it out and see how it is. This is applique. Look at that Stella's. Savage. Wish my son would answer me so y'all can see what I, this blanket, because he's loving. He's sleeping with it right now. Right, that one just watch. That's one look at. You know how I told you I make all this stuff so I can just come and look at it. Cause I'm, I'm proud. I be proud of the stuff that I do. I can't believe I did this with a with a with a with some with some with some thread. This is all thread. Well, this is fab right here. But this is mostly all thread. Like this is like wow. Like you can really do this by pushing a button. Like you don't have, you don't got to sit there and pull no no pattern no um fabric through. You just push a button, change the thread, and you get this. Like what? What? This is just so I put her on blue jean. This is blue jean background. She got blue jean face. I thought it was cute. Instead of having black on her face, she got blue. This is blue jean material. And that's it. This is the big old foot that I made. I just want to see how. Oh, this is the shoe that I made. Shane! I'm sorry, y'all. I want him to show me his blanket before I got this live. Because I'm about to get off this live, y'all. Oh, this is all messed up. That's it, honey. That's it for today. I really wanted him to show y'all the blanket, but he's not coming down here. Right, where's Shane's blanket? I'm trying. I'm trying to get him down here. Why she look like something wrong with her face? I don't know. She look kind of bumpy. Um, this is my daycare. I made a patch for my daycare. Uh, Amazing Grace Child Care. Ooh, I'm tired of talking. My mouth all dry. Don't talk too fast. <laughs> So those are my patches, y'all. Those are my patches. Y'all want to see my bags I make, too, on the embroidery machine? Y'all want to see those? I'm going to show y'all that, and I'm done for real. But the only reason I want to show y'all this is because y'all would never... Some people are going to be like, how in the world did you make that bag on the one needle machine? How do you do it? I was amazed, too, when I seen them on YouTube. Go to YouTube and search in the hoop embroidery bags or purses or wallets. It's called in the hoop. You don't have to use no sewing machine. You just basically put the fabric in the hoop, push the button, let it stitch, next stitch, cut it if you have to, put the next fabric in there, stitch it up, and it comes out to a bag with a zipper on it, okay? The zipper is on. You don't got to take, take it out to sew the zipper on there. The zipper is in the hoop. Let me show y'all real quick. PE800. Brothers, PE800. Brothers, PE800. Let me show y'all. So tired of talking today. This is the one. This is the one with the bigger hoop. This is Brothers NQ 16E. A Novus. Brothers A Novus. NQ 1600E. This is the one with the 6x10 hoop. It's got a bigger hoop. You can do bigger things. On this one, I did sweatshirts. And it's the the words would be you know the 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 image would be bigger, but you could do sweatshirts on here, but it's gonna be smaller. It's gonna be smaller for like this 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 right here. I did this. You could do this on a five by seven hoop. Can y'all see that? I hope I can see it. I'm gonna turn y'all the other way, and then I'll show y'all this in a minute. But this one right here is the PE eight hundred brothers PE eight hundred, and it comes with a five by seven hoop. Okay, and with the shirt I have on right now, you could use this one for the sweatshirt I have on this hoodie I got on right now. This one right here. Is the SE 625. This is really, really small, which is this hoop right here. It's the 4x4 four four hoop, which is very, very small. Let me put it right here so I can see it. It's very, very small because you can do patches on here. You can do small patches on here. It's as big as you can get, patches, basically. Or you can do, like, shirts with names on it in the, on the corner, like a, like a chest plate name or whatever. This one right here is the 5x7 hoop. This is the one I can do with the sweatshirt I have on right now. I could do that. But you got to turn it this way. If you're doing a sweatshirt, it's going to be this way. Okay? Um, and then this, this the hoop. I'm going to put this right here so you can see the difference between this hoop. This hoop right here is the 6x10 hoop. Okay? That's how big that is. 6x10. This is on the big machine that I have compared to the 5x7. It's right here. 
Those are so this is this is nice for hoodies, adult shirts, and right here you can do kids shirts with five by seven can get you right with these kids shirts. All those applicators I just showed y'all with the kids stuff on there, the kids number you can do a five by seven, okay? So if you want to do kids shirts or whatever, you can use a five by seven hoop, which is the PE eight hundred. Okay, the PE eight hundred. Five by seven, the biggest hoop. You can get a repositional hoop right here, which is it's a five by twelve with for the um but this is the this is the for the P eight hundred. So I'm gonna show y'all this two together. This you can get this one for the P eight hundred, but this is it comes this comes uh, separate. You gotta pay for this, and it's tricks it's tricks to this. You gotta basically move it around. You gotta reposition it to use it. You can't just keep it in one hoop. It's it's, it's tricks to it, but you can use it, y'all. It's confusing. To it's confusing to explain it to y'all, but it can be used. And y'all talk I talk fast, so it's gonna be hard for y'all to understand me. <laughs> but yep, these are the hoops for um these are the how the hoops look. All well, my hoops is right here. But then when y'all get that six needle, when y'all get that six needle, you can get this magnet hoop. I got my stuff already ready for me, and it's got to come soon. I don't got to worry about hooping it. I can just slap this magnet on there and even got to hoop it. But this is a hoop, though, what I'm just saying. It's hard for me to explain because I ain't got no machine yet, but I seen it on YouTube because I do my research. That's the that's the mighty hoop, and it's a mighty hoop. I'm just waiting for that machine to come. Here's all my thread. All this, all this thread came from Amazon. Any of this stuff you see, it's going to be linked below the video. It must still came on Amazon. I got, but I got them. Um, I got them. These two. Uh oh. I got those two from um, Walmart. Those last two from Walmart. Okay, this one came from a, a um store in, by, in my town, sewing machine store, in my town. Then the one that's coming to Six Needle came from the same store. I got this one from, so I can. If something happened to it, I can take it back to them. Like, look, fix this thing. It ain't working. So this is hoodie I got right here. This Nike sign. This is applique. I just bought a Nike sign from um from um Etsy, and I just put fabric in here. Okay, that's Nike. That's five by seven right there. It's smaller than five by seven for real. Applique. Now my my phone, I mean my computer is freezing, freezing, so I can't see what y'all talking about. What y'all questions are? Let's see. Yep, I use in brilliance. I have a Mac, so I use in brilliance. And, and, and brilliance to me is, is easy to um, learn how to do. Uh oh, they cut my live off. Am I still on y'all? My computer acting stupid. Oh my wife, my, my, my son must be on the, on the computer. What is the small mighty hoop you have? What you mean? What's the size of it? That size is for I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this size for um for like onesies and stuff. These are good for onesies. I, I was told to use these for um onesies. This size is the um five by five for onesies and for um for um uh, beanies. I'm gonna do beanies, onesies. What else they said it was good for this? Beanie, I really got this for the beanies, because I really wanna do hats and stuff, like like the, the skull heads, beanies, and stuff like that, and the um, onesies. And the other machines, the other hoop is for like adult shirts, kids shirts too. Though, I'm gonna get some more. I just gotta figure. I wanna get my machine first before I figure out what else I'm gonna get. Do you have a show? On how yes, I do. I have a video on how to upload things on Etsy and everything. See, somebody said, do I have a video on how to upload stuff on Etsy or how I started my Etsy? Yes, I do. I show y'all how to upload stuff. I show y'all how, um, I do, don't I? Yes, it should be something called Etsy on my page. Check out my, um, Facebook page. My, check out my YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Yes, what? Somebody say yes. Yes, I'm using Mac. I use Mac and I use Embrillion software for my embroidery. Any other questions y'all want to see who who um didn't see us do these mugs? If y'all didn't see us do these sublimate these mugs and these tumblers, check us out. Go ahead, you can see this video again after I get off the video. All the links below. I'm gonna put the links below the video and let you know where I got all this stuff from. Yes, you gotta buy sublimation. You gotta buy sublimated coated mugs to do sublimation to do this. But if you just put vinyl on it, you don't need to have no sublimation mug. But you gotta have sublimation if you want to have this ink. You gotta have sublimation ink, paper, well, copy paper, and the printer. And the um, sublimated coated images, I mean, um, 
material now you get it from condi.com i have the links below no he didn't bring the blanket hold on i'm gonna scream i'm about to scream y'all so close your ears shay where's that boy at i'm gonna go get it y'all hold on i'm gonna get the blanket so y'all want to see it hey Oh, y'all heard me screaming at him? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry y'all heard me. I know y'all can hear me way up there. Try to close the door. Oh, my God. He hit the dog pee on my couch. Man, I'm so mad at him. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm sorry if y'all heard me. But, yeah, this is... um. I got to go up there clean my couch up, y'all. I got to go. <sighs> this is the blanket I made. This is on this side is cotton. And on this side is minky. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so sorry y'all y'all heard me. Ugh. It's embarrassing. Um and this is basically embroidery right here. I put he like the um the video games and I put the embroidery right here the, the controller and I put his name on there. My first time doing the blanket. This is minky fabric and this is um cotton. You could use you could use cotton or you could use the uh sink. I like this uh what's it called? Snuggle something it's some more stuff. Like I said, I just learned how to sew. I don't know all this fabric and stuff, but he likes it. I did a good job. I did even I used my the first time using my um walking foot on my sewing machine, so I did good. <laughs> I did good. It's so it's so together. Ain't no holes in here for the first time. Hey, what's this right here? I think the dog. He probably had that dog chewing on it. Oh, yeah, I made a goofy ball. I made a goof right here. I had a hole right here, so I had to sew it up. So, yeah, I made a little mistake right here. But it's, I fixed it, but it looked... <laughs> I'm showing y'all. I made a goof. The whole blanket, this is a lot of fabric, y'all. That's all I was scared to do because it's so much fabric. I ain't got to get it together. But it's straight. It's cool, y'all. For my first try. So, everybody want to see it. I did it. Now, I got to go. Please piss off my damn couch. Sorry. Oh, I'm so mad. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching. I gotta go clean this my couch. Have a good night. See y'all later. If one for my puppy, my son, I would be still on here, but I gotta go. I ain't gonna have no mess, stinky house. Bye.